Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where tonight my friends and I are playing Octung Cthulhu. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is Lingua d'Argento. It was written by Josh Harwood, and it's also who is also our game master. The scenario is a homebrew, but the game itself is available from Modifius. Uh, and this is a one shot. So without any further delays, let's begin our journey into the darkness, Josh. Thank you. So section M, uh, for those who do not know, are a British organization that was created uh, in 19, in the 1930s, late 1930s, as the war was starting um, to combat the occult. And over the time, uh, America decided to chime in with a group called Majestic. They are also referred to as cowboys, especially by Section M operatives, because they tend to go off the rails a little bit. Uh, Section M are very loose with the rules. You can break a few rules if it means getting closer to the truth or getting intel that can help your efforts in stopping uh, the evil. Uh, the evil not just being the Nazis. They are evil, but you also have the Black Sun, who deal with uh, the mythos as a whole. They um, are spellcasters. They are wizards. Uh, then you've got Nacht Wolf, who uh, they splinter off from each other, but they deal with super soldiered Nazis and super soldiered things. And they specialize in blue crystal, which helps energize a lot of their weapons. So they are more scientifically and mechanically defined than black sun but they both stem from each other they were create they were formed way before uh section m but section m was originally section d you are section m operatives you have been sent to sicily uh during operation husky operation husky um is a big movement to completely push themselves into Sicily and to help on the Italian front. This was the first big move into Italy. Um, and this is based just after the Battle of Gela. Um, and you guys are on your way to Caltagirone and you're in a truck. You have been assigned to the platoon, a platoon of a mix of soldiers. There are American, there's some British soldiers and a couple of Aussies as well. Um, but you've been assigned to them uh, as your way to get to your objective. Uh, the platoon is led by Colonel Abraham Vaught. Uh, he is an American man, uh, very respected. Uh, and yeah, your objective is to find a Nat Wolf higher up called Silver Tongue. Section M want you to find out what he's doing here uh, and his ulterior motives and just to gather intel. Any intel helps the effort. And you do have permission to kill if necessary. To kill hit, to kill Silver Tongue if necessary. They do not know what Silver Tongue looks like. They always wear a mask. But they do know there was a safe house in Caltagirone. Uh You are meant to meet up with a man who goes by the nickname Weasel. And that is where we begin. You are in the back of a truck. There are a couple of, uh, a few of the American soldiers in the back of the truck with you. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to introduce yourselves if you want. Well, I personally don't think that uh, I needed a, a degree in uh, combat engineering to tell you that you just shoot the guy with the mask. Mm. Yeah, well, when you're shooting, it, shooting in the face, they don't they don't fucking talk, and their job is to find out what they know, and then you can shoot him in the face. 
well, you don't have to shoot him in the mask. God, do I have to explain this? You shoot him in the arm or the leg or something, but it's the guy with the mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen your aim. <laughs> uh, it's not that great. That's why I'm the mechanic and you guys are the soldiers. I think it's a good omen that uh, our informant goes by the name Weasel. I like the little humility. You mm-hmm. know, somebody calls himself very Vigo. You think, ah, this guy's got uh, too much arrogance and does not know his own weakness. You're um, Moretti, was it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jones, uh, Locke, you can call me. Sure. So you uh, do the nuts and bolts. You have the stars. How about you? Leaves. The leaves. The I, stars. I kill Nazis. Corporal Jack Johnson. Looks like you stomp Nazis. That's right. I like to use my hands. You stomp with hands? So do I. <laughs> no, like he, he I stomp like he with gets... steel toe boots. That's <laughs> good policy, I think. Um, you, you know, we do have weapons for you if you want I, I i we have more rifles i'm pretty sure you know in the in the civil american civil war they they were very restrictive on the amount of bullets they used because they're very expensive now they may not be cheaper nowadays the way they're constructed and everything but you don't want to waste bullets when you don't have to also bullets make a noise if you oh. can be quiet you maybe kill yeah. more nazis so stomping i like what, what's it sound like, Johnson, when you stomp on somebody? Yeah. I like the way the sound of their head cracks under your foot. One of the American soldiers pipes up, it's like, you're a big fella. Can't I am strong, I am. Get it. Can't you believe should, they let you get in this truck. You should see him in the shower. 100% American muscle. How the hell did you get? Uh, I need to know your secrets. I drank my milk. <laughs> oh, I bet you did. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what do they put in American milk these days? Vitamin D. Who knows? And growth hormones. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So all of you can now do me an insight observation roll. Uh, for those at home, uh, skill tests are done by adding an attribute and a skill together. Uh, and that is determines what you are trying to get under. So let's say you've got 12. You are trying to get under that 12 with your dice. Uh, just to let you guys know, the challenge is only one. So Two successes. Don't... One. Critical failure. Regular failure. Okay. Wait, I lost track of what I was looking for. Insight Ops, and observation. observation. Yes. So Reese is already a little dirty. Okay, just I got comparatively, one. it is you can see his eyes just okay. kind of drift off. So uh Johnson Jones and Price. Uh, after a little bit of discussion, you guys uh, start to hear a like a whistle. And then maybe instinctively you all just look at the truck behind you. So obviously you can see out the back because it's it's quite warm out there. And then just <laughs> the truck just explodes. Oh, fuck. And then you start hearing more whistles. Uh, Griffiths and Moretti, you are now more aware that things are going on because you'll have seen that go on. Did it hit our truck or the truck <laughs> yeah, behind us? Truck, truck not behind not us. yet. But you start hearing water? you start hearing these whistles and more explosions around. Uh, uh are we the uh was there a truck ahead of us or uh yeah you guys are kind of like smack bang in the middle of the convoy. Okay. So the truck speeding up if not I'm banging yeah, but- on the uh the truck is speeding up. Uh, so as the truck is speeding up, another mortar comes. Uh, they start getting closer to you. And then eventually one hits the side, nearer to the side of your truck. And the truck, the explosion makes the truck 
tip over and you all start to go over. Jones, Johnson and Price, uh, you guys are a bit more steady. It's still a rock and you will bump yourself because you the truck has gone over, but you are f- fine. Moretti, you manage to compose yourself as that happens. Griffiths, you you seemingly have like a bit of maybe shrapnel stuck in your cheek mm-hmm. that is like torn through. It just stuck in your cheek. Were we strapped in or were we just sitting back there? You're you're sure just sitting back there. On all the right, sitting back there. Yeah. You are not strapped in. All right. As soon as we go over, I was like, all right, get out, grab, grab your shit and go. No more than two dicks within two feet of each other. You make yourselves the target. Move, 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 move. Whatever you leave behind, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as, as you get out uh, instantly to your left, you lit, you see so like a whole bunch of soldiers just up that hillscape and you can just make out a couple of mortar teams and they're coming firing from the, down i assume you're implying they're coming from the direction of the uh forward operation of battle yes the bad guys all right yes how were we fixed for boulders to hide behind uh no, I had a moment there. My screen just went looking back. for cover. Yeah, boulders. Uh, yeah, there there are some like rock rocks jutting out. They're not big, but you can get behind them and duck down. Uh, you can hide behind the wrecked trucks as well. But you don't want to hide behind a target that they're yeah. trying to shoot. But there is gunfire going off because now you are seeing other soldiers who have got out of non-exploded uh, trucks and some of them are crawling out. Uh, the two soldiers that are in, two or three soldiers that are in the truck with you, you notice are dead. Yeah. Any, they died any, on impact. Any trenches or culverts or anything? Uh, there's, the a few di- there's a few dips in the road because this is a country road. So there are a few dips that you can, could use for cover. They're quite deep. All right. But yeah. There's no like trench, trench. I'm, I'm, I'm stretched down, and I'm running for that. And we okay. see the mortar teams firing upon us. Like, uh, yes, they are. They're on a. They're on the hit. They're on this hillside to the left of you. Uh, so they're not blocking the road. So you can see. You can see that you're not too far away from Cartagena. Is it's kind of a bit down the road. In that case, it's. Yeah. I'm gonna get behind a tree and fire back at these mortar teams. Okay. Yep. How far uh, away are they? Likewise. Of a mortar teams, you're definitely a long distance. So there's, there's a long range here. So we are instantly entering combat. Uh, so, um, all right. Entering so combat. I have a talent that if we have less momentum than we have PCs, we gain a momentum. Okay. Yeah. So now you're at about five momentum. Uh, so you can, if you are firing, you can roll brawn plus your um, fighting. If you are firing, that is. Okay. Brawn for uh, shooting? Two successes. Uh, three successes, thanks to a critical. And I am firing with my M1 carbine. Okay. Same Oh God! Uh, that is a critical fail. The twenty. <laughs> okay. Did you have any success at all? In no, no, uh, no. Ni- nineteen and a twenty. D and D would be <laughs> pretty happy. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to you in a second. So, we're d- so this is a skirmish battle at the minute because there's a there's a big battle going on because there's multiple people involved in a skirmish which is why I'm letting you all roll at the similar times and not going round by round uh, so the people who uh, roll uh, you can roll me your uh, dice your d6s and that is uh, the damage plus the any bonus we get to brawn right yes Okay. 
So I did roll a one and a six. So one damage and then another damage plus an effect. Yep. No, uh, well, you actually get two because uh, the one with effect counts as two stress okay. plus an effect. So that okay. effect counts as stress. In but, that case. So, so what do you want that effect to be? What is. Oh, I want to shoot a mortar attack? shell that they're just loading in. <laughs> Uh, so, so, so you want a like a piercing effect, yeah? Sure. I want to okay. detonate the shell that they are currently loading into the mortar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you managed to get a, a pretty good shot on, and you probably time it perfectly as they're just about to drop it. And as they drop it and it about to come up, you shoot and it just go. So you see one mortar team just go. Wow, a Wilhelm scream in the distance. <laughs> oh, now I have to find that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did quite well as well. One, one, a two, and then three sixes. So Ooh. I think that's six total. Yes. Um, how many did you get? You got one one, uh, one 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 two yeah and then three sixes uh you got nine because uh some people so don't class ca- some people don't count the effect as a stress but you can count the effect as a stress on top of the effect yeah so yes yeah, you got nine and as we're doing as a proper skirmish power how are you what what were you? I'm assuming you're firing a mortar team as well, or um, just I think he's people. actually focusing. Yeah, he's focusing because there's a lot of just gunfire at this point at our remaining soldiers. He's trying to really do the cover fire of just take out some of the people and get them to uh, at least hunker down and stop shooting people, so we can get into cover. Yeah. Um, so what kind of effects are you adding? Uh, do you want it to be a vicious attack, piercing? Uh, especially if you're aiming for those headshots, you know, piercing is good for... Yeah, let's do piercing. I think that makes sense. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you, you fire and you just see people dropping. Again, you won't know if it's you actually hitting them because there are plenty of crossfire, but there's definitely been some damage to the enemy team. Uh, so, uh, Locke and Moretti, what are you two up to during this? Well, I ran for cover. Uh, the yeah. only the only gun that I have is this, so shooting at the, the enemy from this distance doesn't make any sense. But I'm 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 undercover, but I'm trying to calculate things like the quickest way to get to the town, the safest way for our team to run once the fire stops. Uh, well, you as said as you're doing that you can do me an observation so you can do me uh in a uh, coordination plus observation uh one one success one, one success Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, this will be a one. One. It's not a difficult challenge. It's not like you're. Fi- it's not like you're fighting a tank or trying to figure out how to get past a tank or something. Um, no, you notice as you get close to the town, there is a bit more like, not big woodland, but there's a few trees, a few more big bushes, stone and, walls. Uh... Yeah, stone walls and a few more dips in the road. If you can follow that, even if you have to go prone at some point, you can get past this fire. You guys have a mission and you know this, Jones. Right. So you think, if especially if this skirmish is going your way, you could easily get to that town. It'll take a while, but you, you could get there with some careful maneuvers. Well, I don't want to abandon anybody, but at the same time, I'm not really useful you... at the moment. Yeah, you, and you I am worried about what, what Corporal Moretti is doing. <laughs> what is but, Corporal Moretti doing? Uh, like you, Locke, I'm a close combat uh, type generally. Uh, so uh, I am I'm watching the battle so far and also gauging whether I make it up the hill around behind this group and attack them from the rear. But it seems like uh, 
the boys are taking this monitor team out pretty quick. So maybe we wait it out in, in cover and uh, make our way as a group into the town. Uh, based on what you just told me, uh, yeah, you, 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 you don't really know if there's what they've got beyond that hilltop. So you, you don't think it'd be wise to circle round and your team and the rest of the allies here are making pretty good for progress on that. And it does seem like a lot of the enemies are falling and some might even be retreating. Yeah, see, so I, I have no problem waiting a minute and see how things go before we move out from a uh, little cover here. Okay. Um, so I do have one other question. Yes. Do I think that once this fight is over, that we can salvage the truck if we can get it flipped back onto its front? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you could. It's not... It's not a it didn't get hit, in the, it didn't get it didn't hit, get hit in the engine. You got hit on the you didn't even get hit on the side. It's more it landed right beside it and just the explosion pushed it over pushed it over. All right. So I am thinking about how to get the leverage in order to flip it back. Okay. Well, you've got a pretty big leverage <laughs> in your squad. <laughs> Yeah, so but it was with a lever. With a lever, you can move the earth. So right. <laughs> you, you will need more than just Cal Corporal Johnson. I'm afraid, but right? He could help. <laughs> um, Moretti, as you are there, because you haven't made a roll. You're kind of there, and you notice there's a soldier. He's next to you, wherever you are. He's got his gun, and he's like, uh, "You you want you want a cigar?" He offers me a cigar? Yes. Want a he's, cigar. In, he's in hiding also? Oh, uh, yes. He's got his gun. He, he seems to be preparing to go over. He wants a cigar. This is, uh, what, is he American? Is he English? Or? Uh, he sounds quite Spanish. Oh, well, okay. I'll have a cigar. Uh, uh, Domingo Cabrera. What... Uh, yeah, uh, Corporal Moretti. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, anyway, uh, Jesus, I do not like this. I'd rather get back to my wife and kids, but uh, we must win this skirmish. And then he goes over, and Moretti, you just see, you just hear this whistle, and a bullet just goes through his head, and you just see blood splatters on your side. Uh, sorry to meet you, Senor Cabrera. And you see that he's like, a, he had like a picture of his uh, family that was in like one of his pockets and it's kind of fallen on the ground. Yeah, I'll put that in my pocket. Maybe I'll find the family later. Yeah. So during this combat, uh, especially with Griffiths and Johnson's uh, help, and price your consequence will happen further down the line yeah but there will there will be consequences to your group damn it <laughs> to start off with uh you as for your like fail normal fail maybe your your gun jams yeah. jams a little bit yeah uh so uh yeah the gunfire starts to gel down uh, people, uh, the allies start to regroup a little bit, and you notice that the opposing force, the attacking force, have started to retreat over the hillside. So I'll and, run back and uh, I'll motion for uh, Corporal Jack Johnson to help, and we'll try to flip the truck back over. Maybe there's a piece of fence or wood or something that we can just lever it back over. Yeah, we'll use that as leverage. Yeah, you can find that. Um, so as you were doing that, uh, Jones, you were the one who instigated it. Um, do you, I'll give you the option, do you want to be the person who rolls or do you want to give the bonus die to Johnson? What's the, What's it in, strength? Uh, yes, it, yeah, yes, it's wrong. Give it to him. 
Johnson, roll me a brawn fighting for me. Oh, uh, no, athletics, sorry. Lifting is in athletics. Not in fighting. You and are I get a bonus, you said? Uh, yes, you will get a bonus die because okay. of uh, Jones. Because it was Jones's idea. So then I... that is two successes. Okay. Uh, yeah, this would have been a two challenge. I keep forgetting to, before I tell you to roll, does this have a challenge? But yeah, it would be two challenge. Uh, I'll I'll run around to the driver's seat and start it up. Because you have a, and when you start doing it anyway, other soldiers may come and help and yeah. even, and help you push and get a bit of leverage in there with whatever's lying around and you get the truck up. You okay, Major? Yeah, I'm a gun jammed. Oh, piece, piece of shit. Hey, uh, Private Jones, can you, you, you take a look at that when we get rolling again? Yeah, well, I'm driving, but yeah. I'll uh, I'll look at it when we get there. So I'm wondering uh, if I should roll maybe uh, reason and tactics. I am concerned how we got uh, ambushed like this after jail. Were they waiting on the way to Caltagirone? Do they know something that they should not know? Is that something? Uh, yeah, you, you can you can give me a roll. You can give me a, a convoy of trucks. <laughs> only, but only why are they on this hill above this town? Yeah. We'll just call. Um, we'll call this a. Di- I said I wasn't going to do it at the start, but we'll call this a difficulty zero. Oh, okay. No. Uh, uh, so, so wait. So I get. I have. T- I only roll two dice, so I have two success. But what is that? So mean? yeah. So you will get two momentum. Added on to your momentum. All right. And uh, when... so yeah. Uh go go on, Marty. What were you going to say? No, I, so what do I think? How why are they here? Uh the the only thing you can think the first thing you can think of is um that maybe some locals ratted you out. Mm. But that just seems too coincidental because that was quite a large force on that hill especially prepared with mortars uh you do know the Her- herman goering division tank division were around but they have retreated a bit further back mm. past the location you're going um but you, you just get a feeling that someone has to have ratted you out mm. someone here someone in this must be working because there's spies everywhere especially mm. for you know, especially for like Nacked Wolf and Black Sun, there's spies in general. Yeah, is there, so a, German, is there a German pretending to be American? Yeah. And how many of the, we were in a caravan of how many vehicles, how many troops? Uh, there were 12 trucks. Okay. So there's a lot of potential for espionage in such a big group. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how many do we think, if we do a uh, casualty count from this mortar, we lost about how many injured uh, and how pro- many dead? A f- majority are injured in some way, shape, or form. Ju- minor injuries, just based yeah. off of, of things. Uh, you would say about 13 dead, 14, 13, 14. Mm. So pretty effective attack, all considered. Maybe more, because you don't know how many got into each truck so especially the exploded trucks without like looking in yeah not counting all the parts that. yeah okay so we get on to uh Cota Girona quickly before we have another incident yeah is the colonel okay was he riding uh, with yeah. us in the plot uh, yes the, the colonel convoy? was okay he he was a, he was in a jeep <laughs> he was in a jeep um, yeah, he he. You notice that he is walking around the troops. They've seemingly set up a perimeter and made a, a around this road just while they're getting their bearings. And uh, the colonel walks over to you guys, especially to Price, sir, Major. Uh, Lost I am truck. sorry. I'm sorry for the delay. Well, it can't be helped. At least we, at least we took out some of them. Took out some of their mortars, so they got less heavy, heavy weaponry. Yes, that is. Uh, it's rather unfortunate. As I, 
how did they get the drop on us? I I know they had the advantage, but and we are pushing into their line, so it is possible they've been waiting for us to come across here since Poss- we pushed them out of Jela. But possible, but you know, uh, I think we should keep a, an eye out. Maybe uh, we got a lot of uh, foreigners joining joining up. They might be. Uh, Playing both sides. That is that's very true when you got such a mixed nation national in your uh, mist. It's kind of difficult. Um I see that you got one of the trucks up and running, so I assume you will go on ahead. Yeah, we're gonna keep pre- pressing on with the mission. Um if you want uh we are our next stop is Biscari Airfield, just to uh, meet up with some of the troops that were there, resupply. Because on top of the operation, we managed to get most of the airfields under our command. So we are Good. stopping there along the way. So if you need a resupply or anything, we should be there. Uh, I'll make sure, sure the men are... Uh... Well equipped. Uh, would you like any assistance? I can see. I can send a couple of my men with you. Oh, uh, maybe one, one or two. We don't want to have too many to draw attention to us. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, who have I got? Um, Alan Cabrera. You two of them. All right. Welcome out, Alan Cabrera. Alan and Cabrera. So he's giving you two. He's giving yep, you yep. Private Alan and Sergeant Cabrera. Sergeant Cabrera, good, good to meet you. You look Major like a survivor. Price, yeah. I have to tell you, uh, Major Cabrera may not know yet. He lost a brother or somebody back there. So yeah. maybe he will wobbly. Copy. Yeah, I understand. Of course, uh, you know, Cabrera, maybe that's uh, Spanish like Smith, you know, breed like rats. They're everywhere. So. Uh, as you see about that, Cabrera comes kind of up and says, uh, yes, it is a very common name. There are multiple Cabrera <laughs> families. Well, we're right, glad to have, have you with us there, uh, Cabrera, Sergeant. Uh, it is okay. Uh, yes, we will just uh, assist you if you need our help. <laughs> All right. You you notice that uh, Alan and uh, Cabrera they have a little red t- a red tag just just on their uniform. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get rolling. All right, okay. So yeah, uh, lock. Uh, it's pretty straight. It's pretty straight road from where you are now. So you just drive straight to Gaudiaroni. Um, when you get there, Caldo Gironi, it's it's a quite a big place. Um, it does it's very hilly. It does go up like a quite steep hill going into the main part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, you were told that Weasel would meet you in the marketplace, which is just before the center of Caldo Gironi. Right. So I'll drive. I'll drive to the center. I will park the truck. Um, and uh, everybody can get out. You will get a few stares. You will notice that you get a few people staring at you, and some people avoid eye contact with you all because seeing a, a military truck that isn't Italian makes a lot of people believe trouble is going to come to them. Noticing the odd looks, Griffith does pull that bit of shrapnel out of his cheek now and just kind of drops it. So now he's just bleeding from the cheek. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, you are in the center. Um, You were given that uh, Weasel would be wearing a red and black scarf around his neck. And it is quite a hot day, so 
it um quite easy to spot people in a scarf. Oh, Signore Donala, is he here? See, Do we uh, see a scarf? Uh, you can all do me um, co coordination uh, plus observation or insight plus observation. I'll take even. Yeah, the same role for me. One success. One also. One. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got, um, especially between you all, yeah, you all see him. He seems to be at a a table sipping a drink of some kind. You can't really tell, but he's there uh, reading a newspaper. Uh, We're all in uniform, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're all in I'll, uniform. I'll stay back and cover. Well, and before we go forward, I'll I'll tell everybody what exits are available if we have to dive for cover or get out. What a uniform would Corporal Marty be in? Um, you would probably just be in resistance by a uniform, so just standard like military grade gear, nothing like imprinted or anything. Let's see, so there may be other young men uh, in the square that looked more or less the same. Instead yes. of looking like a big ally with the, or a giant ally or somebody, yeah. some yes. <clears throat> I'll, I'll stay you. behind in the truck. I'll offer up a tin <laughs> of chewing tobacco to Private Griffiths. Well, I think you should be with us because we don't know what we're going to encounter. We might need misty cuffs. If anybody's going to stay with the truck, it could be me. I could fix it up, give it a polish. All right, then I will. I will. Stand back a little, cross my arms, <laughs> and I will go. To, uh, is uh, is weasel with with people or a small table? Just is a hot drink or cold drink? Uh, closely, uh, close observation. Um, hot drink, and he's by himself. I see. So, uh, normal voice. Could you, you know, don allow? It's good to see you, C cousin weasel. I call him. Yes, Weasel stares at you and... Hmm. Hmm. And then he goes back to reading his newspaper. It's a beautiful scarf you were wearing. My friends told me they gave you a scarf for your birthday. It's very nice. Ah, ah beautiful. Yes, it is a beautiful scarf. People think I am mad uh, wearing it in this weather. Yeah, it's good for the sweat too, yeah? Uh, it, it's good indeed. You can hide things. You can hide stains as well, you know, when you get sweat marks and you can hide it with the scarf. Especially when out the body. It's a flexible garment for sure. It is uh, indeed. Uh, join, the... join, join me. Oh, thank you very much. It's a coffee. Ah, uh, yes. And he uh, clicks his fingers and uh, a lady comes down and. Uh, Brings you some coffee. Grazie. Uh, cousin, you heard the explosions outside of town, or were they far enough away? Oh, no, I I heard. Uh, I also um, sort of knew it would happen. I heard some whisperings around town. Yeah, I think we uh, there was somebody set us up. They, were, they had... Uh, they look like they knew who was coming. No? Oh, yes, everyone knows who's coming around these parts. Uh, you do have to be careful. There are some people hidden in plain sight who might uh, be uh, the pe like Nazis. Some Nazis go undercover. Uh, some, some Italian army people go undercover. Just to... Uh, Stay in plain sight. See, si, see, si, could you know? Uh, shall we uh go and see the others, or shall I have them meet you somewhere convenient, maybe not so visible? Ah, uh, no, I uh, we I don't stick well, I do stick out with the scarf on, but I will put it off. 
Um, and we can go to my apartment. No, people know me and here. They aren't going to rat me out. That's good. I'll call, I'll signal the boys and we'll go with, I'll follow you to your place. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Follow me. Uh, maybe, uh, keep a little distance, you know, just to, you, you are, you're, you're a countryman like me, so you understand what it is like over here. Yeah. Um, but yes, I have, uh, I managed to intercept some information that might be of use, so. Very good. I'll bring them over. If we'll follow you in a few. Okay. Yeah, he uh, finishes his coffee and starts to walk off. Mm. And uh, I tip the cafe fellow and go back to the gang. Yeah. Well. So we 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 talk at his place. We don't uh, have so many eyes. Maybe two of you follow three of us, and we go a little relaxed. People will watch a little, but he's he knows what he's doing. So we're going to follow in the army yeah. truck. No, we walk. It's a small town. Okay, in uniform. There's yeah. uniforms. You're not going to change in the truck and then blend in. Oh I'm not going to blend in. They, they know the Americans are here, so you're yeah. an American. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's, okay. uh, let's do that. Yeah, so I, I just need to know uh, what the five of you are planning on doing here. Exactly. Well, I'm not so the I'll brains pass. of this operation, so I'll, oh, just, uh, I'll yeah. stick outside. I've okay. got an eye on Weasel. Uh, I grab the Major, and he yep. and I walk and talk together, and the other whoever of, who's coming in follow us to the apartment at a discreet distance yes. not, a, not a big parade just people walking once you have a oh well, you got corporal so once you enter the apartment we'll just stand outside on the street yeah corporal so johnson and uh private jones you guys uh say on the street uh private griffiths you, you come up with uh, with us yes sir it's not that far of a walk uh right. you you go down. You go down a busier street, and then it takes you down a sm a smaller pedestrian street, and you're literally there. It's like a building, a quite a tall three story building. And mm -hmm. yeah, you go. It's seemingly a little bit elevated as well, but it's most likely due to it being on a hill. Yeah, going up. So yeah, uh, so. Moretti, Price, and Griffiths are going in, and Jones and Johnson are staying out. I want to know what Jones and Johnson, how you're positioned outside. Well, we can see the building. We can can we see the door that they go into? Yes, you can see the door they go into, um, and you're down like this narrow pedestrian street, so no my, cars are coming down here. Knowing my architecture. Uh, can we, you know, figure out where what possible e exits from the building might be, just in uh, case, or just in case something goes down? You can do me an insight plus engineering for me. Because do you know about Italian architecture? That Let's is see. both. That is both fail. Uh, both failures. Both both positive. But what's the plus two damage mean? <laughs> uh, on insight, that is for if you are attacking from range. Okay. Yeah. So I got I got two successes. Okay, two successes. It was an easy one. The one. So yeah, you know that these kind of buildings. It's an it is an apartment. Uh, building so there is a back exit okay there's windows most likely on the other small pedestrian street <laughs> okay. the other side so I, I i tell johnson i say so if we hear noise if we hear a gunshot or something there's an exit on the other side as well so one of us can run over there and the other one can stay here and you want to stay together or do you want to just have someone at the front entrance and someone at the back um, I, nothing's probably going to go down. We can just, in case something does happen, 
Yeah, I'll just stand on the opposite side of the front door and light up a cigarette. And I'll say, uh, do, do the thing, you know, where you go like this, my hand from your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, you two are outside. So, Price, Moretti, and Griffiths, you enter. Um, you you see him go. You see him go up. He ends up going all the way to the top, and he waits for you by his door. Yep, there. Good, uh, good to meet you, uh, Weasel. Yes, Major Price, uh, Private Griffiths. Ah. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Uh, sorry about my English; it is not perfect. Oh, it, it's uh, it is it is fine. Oh, That's why you. we brought Corporal Moretti, just in case we needed uh, translations. <laughs> that is that is fair enough. Um, so yes, follow me inside. Uh, okay. Uh, so he he takes you in his apartment is pretty bare bones uh there's a place to eat there's a place to sleep and then the rest of it is seemingly uh there's like pin boards with information on it and you notice by like his red strings but this guy must be like so crazy mad person or he actually knows where things are Maybe he's conspiracy theorist. You don't really know. There's a lot of shit around. There's a lot of piles of paper as well. Mm-hmm. He's got an old radio as well, but that is not active. But as soon as he goes up to it, he activates it, and he can actually you can hear some chatter through the radio. So he is listening into local chatter. Okay. Oh, I'll kind of uh, look at the uh, board. Uh, any uh, names or that I recognize? No, a couple of the boards. But when you get to one of the boards, you do notice that he has a uh, Colonel Vort's name on on there and a picture of Colonel Vort. Um, there's a picture of all of you on there as well, and there's also. A very blurry picture of someone in the Nacht Wolf uh, outfit, and there's a couple of other prominent-looking people there as well. One in particular catches your eye. Um, uh, there's no definitive uh, like picture; it's quite blurry, like an actual. But this person, whoever it is, seems quite built, mm-hmm. bigger than Johnson. Mm. built hmm. but again it's a very blurred photo kind of from behind as well just like we uh, knacked wolf official so cousin we don't want to uh, draw any more attention than we need to uh, or we have already what, uh, what do you have to tell us well, uh, I managed to intercept uh, this information, which I will pass to one of you now. Oh, no. Um, I managed where I managed to intercept it before I pass it to you uh, was a courier. So I think a silver tongue must have an apartment in the city, in the town. Hmm. I do not know where. Uh, I have asked one of my local uh, co-conspirators to uh, look into. This mm. they should be they should get me information within the hour. So, uh-huh. so you Quite think the silver yeah. tongue goes out without the mask and goes to the market and then goes to the meeting with his mask on? Poss- possibly. Uh-huh. Who knows? It, for all we know, it could be a she. We don't know. Yeah, it could be anyone in town, then. It could literally be. It could be you, Moretti, For all I know. Yeah, except I just got here. <laughs> that is true. That is and they almost true. blew up my jeep. So that is I yeah, bad planning. Out. Yes, yeah, but it would be perfect cover. <laughs> the shipment requested received. 
awaiting arrival, SP, AP, beware, G has fallen. Received, but awaiting arrival. Usually, it, if it's received, it's arrived. Uh, and... Uh, this is going through like a where, you know, received by this one piece, and they're, now they're waiting to, uh, it to arrive to another contact. But, well, hmm. From what I took from it, uh, are they awaiting Silverton? Waiting arrival of Silverton? I don't know. I, I did not understand the abbreviations, though. I do not know what they said. Uh, yeah. Could SP be Santa Pietro? It's on the the way to the uh, to the airfield, and it uh, G has fallen. Could be uh, Gila. 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 Yes. Same. Well, that makes sense. So we have S P and G. What's the other one? A P. S P, and I thought it was S P A P. And G. See, si, Signora, Majora. Uh, Major Price, I have to say, uh, you told me that uh, Private Griffiths was pretty to learn, but uh, he figured it out right away. Well, that, there's a reason why I asked him to, to come up here, you know. Uh... His eyes have just drifted off into the... <laughs> Sometimes a, uh, the uncomplicated mind helps can see, <laughs> see the simple things. <laughs> I wonder if the A and AP is Argento, but uh, it's everything else is not Italian. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I, you uh, intercepted this. Uh, what is the medium? It is a, It is like a telegram. Mm -hmm. I intercepted it. Uh, I intercepted on its way to a... You seemingly stutters in his trying to tell you where he intercepted him. This is suspicious. Should I roll some dice about this? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, Insight tactics or? Uh, yes, or um, or even just uh, observation, I guess, into him <laughs> or uh, whatever. Tactics would be better. For you yeah, it's the same numbers all around mm -hmm. uh to success okay uh he, he, yeah his his whole thing is uh a bit odd and the fact he's um now all three of you start to notice that he's been listening into uh ally radios Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, not and, access right <laughs> and and uh he should not have pictures of us should he no why, uh, why? no yeah hmm. uh so uh maybe you want to explain yourself cousin uh we are very much uh private Griffiths you you have uh You want maybe to help him stay still while we ask him some questions, no? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, and he'll just kind of try and grab him by the back of the shirt and just kind of lift him off the ground. Okay. Um, you, we are going to do an opposing role here. Oh. So, uh, yeah, you, uh, Griffiths, uh, can roll me a brawn with your fighting, and I will also All right. be doing that. Um, we were just talking is, about momentum. I would like uh, yes. to spend a couple as an example of how to do this to uh, just set one of mine to a critical success to begin with. That's okay. Fort oh, you can do it with momentum? Oh, you nice. can do it with yeah. momentum or you can do it with fortitude. And did we get a momentum because I had two successes? He, yes, Griffiths added it to your momentum pool. Oh, he, I missed uh, it. Uh, I had one from the architecture, but not the latest one. Um, so we're so the, 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 the difficulty. 
The difficulty yes. is one. Um, I got one success. Oh yeah, then I'm definitely spending that uh, that momentum for one, and then the other is a success as well at a three. Okay, so you have more success than him, so you you win the roll. Yeah, he tries to weasel his way. You see that he tries to <laughs> even get out of his jacket. <laughs> Griffiths is farmer strong. He's not bulky, but he's he's got some yeah. lift to him. Hmm. So, uh, Weasel, where'd you uh, where'd you get the pictures of uh, of us? Uh, Intel. I had to know what you guys looked like. Intelligence gathering. Intelligence gathering, yes, 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 yes. And uh, gathering on the uh, the allies' comms, I see, also. Yes, but I also uh, go in on the, uh, the other. And now, is the this one, one of those ra- is this one of those radios that have preset uh, stations, or is it a pure dial-in? Pure dial-in. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, what frequency do the uh, do the uh, German Jews. Uh, he he suddenly starts to, uh, and he's trying to struggle out Griffiths, but Griffiths has got him up. It's like no, okay, okay, okay. I I play both sides. You've got to make a living. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I I understand needing to to make a living and stuff, but. I've also got to make a living, and my my living is making sure my men men stay alive and don't get betrayed. No, it is what it is. No, no, Kuji, no, it is not what it is. It is hard when, life. When you are occupied by uh, enemies from within or without, and you betray your own people, then you are nothing but weasel. I am and not betraying my people. You play both sides, you betray your people, no? Yeah, but there are two sides to the Italians. There's the pro and the uh, not pro. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Italian's Italian. Yeah. Hey, I, you don't seem to understand the nature of war. Ah. You only get one side in a war, friend. Money. Money. It's what I'm in the game for. Yeah, how will you spend the money when I twist your head right off your neck? Uh, you wouldn't do that because then I couldn't tell you things. Yeah, I can well, tell you. So far, you tell us nothing we need. You tell us maybe a lot, and maybe you leave here with both your legs, huh? Well, I can't tell you that I was the collier. It's a start. Keep going. Uh, but it will cost you. No, 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 senor. It will cost you. No, no, it won't cost me. I uh, will start with uh, your left foot, because I am nice. We are friendly. I know. Okay. Pulls Weasel over <laughs> so you have a nice, like, nice access. Meanwhile, downstairs, <laughs> Jones and Johnson. Yeah. So Both she says... Oh, I, no, you cut to you back on the stage. She says to me that uh, that she doesn't want to date me anymore because I've got greasy hands. What about the dog? Well, you know, I, I think, uh, I think, you know, what she doesn't realize is that I'm loaded. I like this job. I like getting my hands dirty, but I'm like heir to a rather large fortune. Well, sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, apparently money. not. I want him to like me for myself, not for my damn money. So greasy hands and all. Find myself a nice little greasy woman. I'm sure you'll get one. Someday. Uh, it's not like I'm you. I mean, you could just walk up and pick one up and walk away with her. She's yours. Caveman style. I'm not a caveman. I'm an American. Uh, so, uh, can you both uh, give me insight uh, observation, please? Yeah, if I can find my dice and 
wonder why I'm all of a sudden from Boston. Ooh, two. <laughs> On the dot. Uh, I got one. Okay. Um, what was the difficulty? Okay. Again, I keep forgetting to set the difficulty. In my head, I'm like, difficult. Uh, it was two. It was a two difficulty. Okay. Uh, wow. So I barely I got that. Holy shit. Um, so you guys are having your conversation about women and uh yeah, maybe it distracts you a little bit, but Johnson, after a while, maybe you're blocking Jones's rabble about a greasy woman out a little bit. Um you notice that the same two people have gone past you at least seven times. Okay, that's really suspicious. <laughs> and they walk right past us on the street? Yeah, right Are past Are they coming you. again? They seemingly have gone around the corner. But they, as you've seen them, it's like they're just going around in a circle. Because you always see them come back up and then around the corner. You that's the kind of pattern you've you've noticed. All right. So next time they walk past, I'm gonna like bump into them by accident. Okay. As you as they come past, it's two casually casual smart. Um that's what they're dressed. And they uh walk past you and then you knock into one and it's like what are you doing? Uh, Watch where you, you're and going. You, and that's where you notice during that conversation start speaking with like a German accent and very quickly switches to speaking oh, I'm, Italian. Oh, I'm attacking. So my hand's about the size of their face. I'm just going to grab them like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, do me a, do me a brawn and uh, when I... we've, en- we've entered combat. So I'll start with you, okay. Johnson. Uh, of we're... course, I'd let Locke know before I do yeah. this. Well, I was going to say, we've worked together for a while. So once I see him start to move, I'm going to move in behind yeah, and reach in to see if there's a gun that I'll pull out of the holster. Okay, okay. So you uh, wanna? I'm gonna do a hand to hand. Yeah, brawn and then whatever. Okay, that is three successes. Okay. Uh, yeah, the difficulty uh, was two. Okay. So, so, so yeah, I guess I'll grab him by the face and then uh, choke slam him into the ground. Okay, yeah. Do me roll me your uh, d sixes. Sure. Okay, I roll the one and then two sixes. I'd like to add an additional effect, which is to stun them. Okay. Because it probably knocks the wind out of them. Yeah. So are you like proper choke slamming them down to the ground? Yeah. And I'm sure that the people above will hear this. Yeah, proper choke slam. There's a little. You even hear a bone crack in his leg because of just you've done some force down there, and he's struggling to speak. The other person with him is like stunned as well by that and starting to walk back. You notice they have a handgun yeah. in like a holster. Did Locke get his handgun? Yeah, because uh, I was reading. Now. Now, because uh, it would have, because how it goes is a zigzags between both okay. sides of a combat. But because he is uh, in a level of retreat, it w- it does zigzag straight back to you, Lock. Okay. Well, I I just rolled. I was trying to figure out what it would be, but it's fighting and coordination because I was trying to get the gun yes. out, and I got two successes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'd be a simple. It would just be one. Yeah. Because uh, one difficulty is simple. Now, what uh, yeah, about there were two guys, though, right? Yes, there's one on the ground and there's one retreating, almost like stepping back towards the wall with his hands up because he's a bit t- stunned by what okay. Johnson has done. So, once I've grabbed the one guy's gun, I'll go for the other guy's gun as well. But next okay. round or whatever we use in this. Yeah. So, as we, we zigzag back, they are. Again, they're they're both shot. Well, one's 
literally the breath is gone from from him. He's struggling to speak. So back to Johnson. Okay, then I'm going to pick him up by the shoulders and I'm going to say, you Nazi! And I'm going to throw him through the apartment door. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will need a, a brawn and athletics check. From Absolutely. Here. Two so, successes. Okay. Um, yeah, it'd be... It- It'd be a, it'd be a one difficulty. You're a big you're a big towering behemoth. So, right, no, so for a normal person, momentum. it would for a normal person it would probably be a two difficulty because you're literally trying to pick up a person and throw them through. Uh, but yeah, for you, it's just a one difficulty, which is your truth coming into play because you are it a is. towering behemoth. So he goes through the door. It's yeah, splinters. he just goes straight through the door, probably knocked unconscious. Good. I'm not sure we heard the uh, face palm, but I think you, we probably hear the door slam. You definitely hear the door slam, but I will come to you guys after uh, the other dude and Locke's turn. So, goes to the other dude, he's up against a wall. I've got this and, gun on him. And, and I'm like, don't move. I'll just reach in and pull out his gun. Is it a German but, gun? Before Luger. before you do that, obviously, so he literally goes to pull out his gun. He goes to pull it before you can reach it. Can I? Okay, just gonna, okay well, I'll, I'll hold my gun right up to his face. So, and I'm going to say, give me your gun. Okay. Um, you. Uh, uh, if that's what you're doing. Oh, my God. My leg is cramped a little bit for some reason. Ah. <laughs> uh, you could do me a, uh, like an intimidation roll. So it would be a uh, reason intimidation. Reason and I don't see intimidation. Where is it? Uh, it's, oh, I uh, see. It's the same within thing. Okay. It's it's in persuasion. Within persuasion. Within persuasion. Yeah. Woo! I got an eight and a six. So that's both both successes. Okay. Yeah. Um. It would have it would have been only a one difficulty because. Okay. Yeah, because I've already he's, got he's the gun already, down. His... Yeah, the gun's going. He's just straight, and he he gives you a gun, and he's like, speaks. He's saying this in German, but he's like, "No, please don't kill me! Please don't yeah. kill me!" Uh, Inside, just do this. Inside. Okay, yeah, he, he goes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hand Johnson the other gun. Okay. I'll meanwhile, away. meanwhile, back upstairs before the door crashes. Mm-hmm. The three of you are there with Weasel. Just moving weasel around for Moretti. Just here you go. Is there yeah. any like uh, water or liquids around? Oh, I, I, yeah. There's a there's oh, a like coffee a, pot. A sink. Sink. Yeah. yeah, there's a coffee I'm pot. Gonna, there's a I'm gonna pour a it, sink. I'm gonna pour it into the uh, the cooling vents of the radio to ru- mess up to ruin his radio that he's been listening to our comms on. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, I, you've been gathering information for both sides. I'm tired of you gathering information on my side. Weasel, I tell you what. Uh, why don't you give us everything you got, and then maybe we'll give you a day to get out of town. Because when the Resistance finds out you are uh, sharing both ways, they will cut out your tongue if they are feeling generous, okay? The, the fact that the three of you are there... Um... No role is needed for this because the three of you are there. And he's already in a state of distress. Just like, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll I'll tell you what. Let please let me down because I I I I feel a bit, uh, tied up with you grabbing hold of me. Right, but he gets a little seasick up in the air like that. Put okay. him down. He's gonna set him, yeah. He'll he'll set him down like hard, but he's keeping that that paw at the back of the shirt. Um. So, uh, I had already delivered. I had made a copy of of the telegram. Made a copy. So you have seen the. I had already delivered it. I know where his apartment is. I can take you there. Hmm. Why you take us? Why don't you just give us the little map? 
give me a street address and you stay, maybe you get out of town before we show up there and maybe you keep your life. Uh, if, yes, I can mark it down. It is not far away. It is within walking distance. It's a little town. Uh, Major Price, you think we take him with us to make sure he's telling the truth or we let him run away like a weasel? Oh, I think uh, we uh, we bring we bring him there. Once we uh, get to the apartment, then we we let him go. We wouldn't want him accidentally uh, calling the the people we're going to. Yeah, I'm thinking also the what we go there and he outside the building he whistles twice and then we all get the shots. Mm -hmm. It's the problem when you're a weasel. You see, nobody likes you. Nobody trusts you. Ah, uh, but it makes the money. Yeah. It like makes said, the money. Does you, make need, the... you need to be able to breathe to spend the money. <laughs> information is money. I have this information. Is, this is what you spent the money on? He's kind of looking around this bare bones apartment. Oh, this is just my apartment here. You should see my apartment on the mainland. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll go and visit you there, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Might yeah, be very uh, nice for you. Ah, uh, yes. Indeed. All right, so we shut your mouth. Uh, you walk us to... Uh... As you're having this conversation with him, that's where you guys hear oh, a crash yes. coming from downstairs. Oh, Corporal hey. Johnson, sometimes he doesn't... He Sometimes his What's... muscles uh, get ahead of his brains. What the and inside the Nazi... That's they, they come yeah. up the stairs and that's mm. when they push. See, I was afraid it was a bunch of uh black shirt goons, but mm. yeah. Look what we found, Major. Well, what did you find here? Germans. Literally what the the uh, one who's conscious <laughs> literally spits at you, Major Price. I'm gonna hit him uh, with my gun then. Respect. Gun. Ah. Yeah, I'll I'll speak to him in German. I'll be uh, goes. Uh, what are you? Uh, did you desert your unit? What are you doing in, in town by yourself? Back in German, he he's speaking in German. And back to you. Uh, why would I tell you, you filthy, <laughs> you filthy traitor? You filthy speak traitor? pure German. Yeah, I speak pure German. We uh we educate people in, in the country I am there was to speak uh other languages and respect other cultures, unlike unlike you Nazi pieces of shit. But what we do is collect. It is the best way to be. Ah, I I see, I see. Well, how about you you enlighten light me? What's the best way that you were around here? The best way is to see you all hanging and dying. You're all filthy, and you start spitting on the ground. Uh, and Andy, you, Andy whack him even again. goes, as you whack him, he then goes, Hail Hitler. I, see. I, I look over at uh, Corporal Johnson. Johnson, did you officially take this man a prisoner? No. Nope. Throw him out the window. I, 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 this this window. Window. No, no, this is my prisoner. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll have my gun against his head, and I'm going to say, who sent you? Why were you walking around? You can throw the one on the floor out the window. I will do it. <laughs> okay. Well, he's unconscious, so whatever you do to him is going to happen. Out the window. Just goes out the window. You you hear a foot on the ground. You hear some screaming as well. I look at the uh, the prisoner and is like going, uh, so do you want to be a POW and uh, s sent to the States where you get fed, or do you want to be... Uh, Someone that that uh, splatters on the ground and uh, for your fear, for a time in prison, <laughs> I'd rather dive and tell you anything. No, yeah. really? Does uh, this uh, the weasel look like he recognizes either of these crowds? The weasel is keeping to himself. <laughs> Does he look like? Did he? Did Did he show recognition? It was a you would have. Moretti and Griffiths, as you guys are not involved in that, like, exchange properly, you would notice there was a little exchange of looks. Mm -hmm. And he go, and then one thing that you hear different is he's already 
Heiled Hitler. He then goes to Heil the Supreme. Diana Ross? Heil the Supreme. (laughs) 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 That's the name of Wonder Woman? I, I... I've never actually tortured anybody before, but... Come on, you filthy... Whatever the hell you are, from your accent, he doesn't you actually know what you press, mean. Press the gun into his skull. Come, he, he then properly goes into broken English, because he doesn't speak a great... Come on, pull the trigger, I know you want to. Well, we're going to pull the trigger, but, you know... Just do it already, I ain't going to tell you shit. Look, I think this one is... Uh... Devoted to uh, evil beings. Don't let him free. Maybe take you both his knees or, you know, the maybe the, the hip. We've got plenty of windows. Uh, do, do I have to do this myself? Is it going to bite some cyanide? Stop him. <laughs> uh, then he starts muttering something under his breath. I'll put my gun in his mouth. <laughs> okay, Good I luck. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> look at the the weasel. It's like, who's the supreme? He's uh, Sea Highland. Yeah, it's what some of them uh, refer to as a silver tongue's name. Some see him as, I see them as the next big thing. Hmm. Got a lot of masters, this master race, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnson, why don't you, I don't know, snap this asshole's spine, and then we take the weasel out and find the silver tongue. I'll shove him towards uh, Johnson. I'll catch him and then, like, break him through the kitchen table. Okay, so in that very split second you do that, he gets a moment to get his speech back and finishes what he was saying. So as he goes into you, Johnson, uh, the rest of you will see like a like a uh, aura of blue just emanate from him as his skin starts to melt. And uh, he goes into what? you, Johnson, and you're just getting a bit of flesh melt onto you as it's melting in like inwards. I'll still slam him through the kitchen table. He gets <laughs> left of him. <laughs> Oh, so this is nice, Weasel. You friends with the Nachtwürfe. You've got great friends. I hope they're paying you real good. Uh, I, I hope yes, they all is. taught that spell. Uh, you can all take... Uh, all of you, barring Johnson, can take two stress. Johnson only take one. Uh, so uh, let's take a minute and uh, tear up all of Weasel's pictures of us and communications and yeah, things. Yeah, we got a question: Is why are you? What's with Weasel then? Weasel's uh, a Weasel's a, a, a cheap little. Uh, what you, he's a, he sells to everybody. He so are these watch. are these your men, Weasel? Silver Tongue's troop. How did they know we were here? How do you think they know we're here? I told them. I work both sides. Uh, Locke, w- yeah, no, Locke, we understand. We He's <laughs> going to show <laughs> us where the Silver Tongue lives first, and then we decap him and put him on a boat. Okay. Griff this is, like, trying to haul him, like, left and right away from the gun. <laughs> I crack my fingers. Uh, you you don't get Knuckles. betrayed. The, f- the five of you just don't get it. It's the only way to live these days. Mm. Yeah, I will see if you live. Time, time yeah, to you change, know. in Weasel. Time. It's a good way to die, which mm. you're going to find yeah. out shortly. Okay, so he marks it on the map. I have nothing clever. You just cause the death of the two. Two off off cuts here. So you're probably going to kill me anyway. So what have I got to lose? 
He marks it down. It's not like Silver Tongue is bare anyway. <laughs> what do you mean by that? He's uh, moved out already? I would assume so. Hmm. How do we know so, you're not Silver Tongue? Do I look like I am that intelligent? I don't know. Is that a mask? And I'll reach up and grab a hold of his face and tug that, on it. What are you doing? Tug a little harder. Jones, yeah. I, I think it would be silver. No, wait, that's his tongue. Look in his mouth. Uh, yeah. He's got a normal tongue. <sighs> hmm. So, uh, I don't understand. Cousin Weasel, why you meet us uh, for only to be discovered and killed like this. Do you have, do you don't want to spend the money or are you are very foolish? I wasn't expecting you to be so uh, intelligent. Uh, usually the people I deal with are uh, Nazis. dumb. Nazis, yeah. Well, not just Nazis. There's been dumb Englishmen, dumb Americans. Most Americans are dumb, like that big dummy there. Look at him. Well, I mean... The uh, the guy from Wales is not the brightest, but he figured you out pretty quick. So I uh, guess you had a long career out of sheer good fortune. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it runs out eventually. <laughs> yeah, but it you does. Know, so I am uh, accepting of my fate. Yeah. Oh, you philosopher. Yeah, well, good for you. I think we take you with us anyway. Why? I have served my purpose. Well, you know, you make a mark on a map and you lie, and then you you die here, or you make a mark, or you take us somewhere and you get to walk away, maybe limping. That is true. That is true. Okay, I will come with you. I've got nothing left to lose. He could be taking us to a beehive full of Nazis. That's why I'm, that's my concern. But then at least we'd find a beehive full of Nazis. Would we, I do that to you? Would I do that to you? Not if you, you wanted are, to breathe another day and spend some money, you talk. You, huh? you are my best friends. I would not harm any uh, of you. Oh, it's sad. It's just sad. I would hate to be your enemy if this is why you treat best friends. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so we tear up the evidence here. I don't want to leave these photographs. Yes, I definitely think we should hurry, though, because uh, you're throwing that body out of yeah. a window. Can you not hear the commotion downstairs? Yes, okay. let's go. For some reason, there is some outcry. Although maybe when the locals see that it's a uh, Nazi who hit the pavement, they will not be so upset. Yeah, it, it would start to diminish. I think it, uh, the outcry is more from the suddenness of someone mm. being coming out of a window and splatting on the ground. See? He's very right. depressed. So we, <laughs> and why not, eh? So yeah. we tear up the papers. Uh, is there anything? So there's the photographs of us and other things. Is there anything as I tear down sheets from the walls that looks like it's maybe useful information? Not really. A lot of it's very basic information that you, most of it you already know anyway, and stuff yeah. is not relevant to your current. All right. Situation. So we, we tear up our pictures and we uh, let. Well, how are we going to take this guy out? Maybe Johnson walks him with a very small blade to the small of his back. So at the minute he gives him trouble, we can... I can do that. I take out a knife that's this big. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Very small for you. All right. Very um, small knife. Mm hmm. This is Stuart, Texas, yes? That's not a knife. Well. This, this steals the souls of Nazis, so... <laughs> it must be very hungry. <laughs> That's why it made yeah. me bring it with me. <laughs> okay, so we go to the back door, and you take us to Silver Tongue, and we give you a 10-minute head start. Okay, not yeah. just one. So Griff Griffiths is keeping that 
keeping that paw on him, though. He doesn't trust him further than he can throw him, which is actually a decent distance. I've I've got a big hand on his shoulder and a knife to his back. Okay, he's definitely not going anywhere. Really, he's just going where he needs to go. Um, I think so. He it, he takes you down a few alleyways. He seems to be just like pissing about a little bit, but obviously with a little push of a knife, he's like, okay, 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 and then he takes you to the building. It it looks abandoned. The building. It looks. Hmm. As this whole like row kind of looks uh torn down and abandoned. There's even some like fire damage to a couple of the buildings. But yeah, Ooh. so he, he he leads you. So to uh, this is this is it. Uh I uh, I have key okay. and he opens. I usually just enter, I go in, leave a, leave a message on the table, and then I leave. That is all I am told to do. But I can tell no one is here because there is no one observing. So, Where would they usually be observing? I got it. There would be two in the opposing buildings. There would be one down the, the street just over there, and there be would have walked past a couple as well. Dress. See, I am not useless. I observe. You never know, they might backstab me. I backstab people, so, you know, I've got to expect people will backstab me, too. True. Pretty sure that information would have been more useful before we walked in the front door, though. It is what it is. Hmm, you are a philosopher. Uh, we are inside. We have not been shot. We have the key. He had the key. He was pretty quick with the information about the windows. What do you think we believe him? Do you want to hold him while we look around or uh, let him start running now? Yeah. What do you think, Major? Do we let him go? Yeah, let's uh, cut him cut him loose out of here. You know, right. never know uh, when that might come back to help us. You see Griffiths struggling with something as he's kind of like wait you're a courier if this is where you get the message where do you take it to where i take it to sorry i i misspoke this is oh. where i take it to i i picked it up from another location i, I do apologize english is not my uh my strong suit hmm. well looks like you're not getting stabbed in the back today i'll put away my knife and just shove him out the door oh thank you Mm. And uh, yeah, so yeah, you guys are in this uh, room. Uh, how they've made it is it seems it's just one large room split between two apartments. They've seemingly knocked out the doors. Uh, the staircase leading up to the next floor is completely ruined. If there's a window nearby, I'm going to go over to the window and see if I can see which direction Weasel goes. Uh, Weasel, actually just, Weasel actually just sits down on the pavement outside. And, uh, yeah, just sits there. Hmm. He has Griffiths. somehow contacted somebody and, and he's waiting for him to get here. I don't well, like this situation at all. Let's uh, sweep this building and get it done. Yeah, Griffiths uh, is kind out. of stomping on the floor to see if there's any, like, loose floorboards that shut watch, up. When watch out for traps. Yeah, you, you guys fine. all, stop, stop, you stop. guys know how this this all works. You know that everyone keeps secrets and hidden compartments and stuff. So anyone who is searching, uh, insights, uh, plus whatever you deem fit for it, really. Uh, I'm going to keep watch. Or um, yeah, observation. Yeah, observation. Uh, uh, to an extent, you could use tactics if you really wanted to. Covert engin operations. Engineering, because you kind of know, like, oh, this is how the building would have been. Yeah, uh, architecture and engineering you could use. Uh, oh, um, well, then, I, then I got two. 
uh, the difficulty, the difficult. I keep forgetting to set the difficulty before I tell you. Fuck. Uh, two. The difficulty is two. So. Okay, I got two. And, and I'm just keeping watch. So. I keep getting engrossed in what you guys are saying, and then I forget the bloody. Mm-hmm. We should ask. Um. Oh. So yeah. Um. So who? So is it just you, Jones? Who assumingly? Yeah. Well, I'm the engineer, I rolled, so. I I rolled two normal failures, so. Yeah, two <sighs> normal failures on my end too. Okay, so the rest of you are failing a little bit. Um, Jones, you know your architecture. You you know when something's not right in a structure. This is a false wall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you even have to go outside and you see Weasel just sat there. Weasel's pl- you all start to hear a harmonica being played. Weasel's just sat there playing a harmonica. And um yeah, you, you that's what you said. And you notice that when you look through the window, you look there, you even go maybe go into the building next door, you realize the dimensions don't make sense so you f- definitely think there is something so it's just a matter of finding what to push in all right or pull out because there's a bunch of cabinets there's a there's a straight line of wall well i'm thinking if i was going to design and engineer it where would i put it and i'll uh i'm looking for it actively Okay. Um, There's definitely something here. So yeah, we, I, I'll leave you. It'll take a little while. Uh, in normal circumstances, this would be an extended uh, task, but I'm not. We're not doing. We're not doing that mechanic today. So yeah, we'll just say that this will take a little time for you. Um, Could we and uh, use momentum to speed that up? You can use momentum to speed that up. Yeah, I will. For it, I will say you can spend one momentum, and okay. you can speed it up. Yep, let's do that. Okay, uh, so you, before you do that, um, Price, Griffiths, and Moretti were looking around anyway. Mm-hmm. So Johnson, what were you doing? I'm just keeping watch, just so we're not snuck <laughs> up on. Yeah, you again. <laughs> you'll see Weasel just there <laughs> playing his harmonica. Sat outside. Okay. Odd fellow. You've all probably all realized he's a very odd fellow anyway. So, um, so yeah, uh, Jones, you figure it out. And uh, you manage to push aside a cabinet and you notice there's a, a false wall there that you push in right. inwards and then slide it along. And there's it's not a big room. Johnson isn't fitting in there, just to point out. But the rest of you would be able to fit into this like little gap. And it le- and at the other end is like a, a table. Okay. A table. There's a few um knacked roof memorabilia up on the wall and a few other things. You notice some ritualistic signs on the walls. Knacked wolf is uh there's stuff here. Yeah, and so the, the the burning blue light that's a uh, knocked for a sign, so that's consistent with his mm-hmm. friends. Hmm. Well, let's look through the stuff that's in here. Apparently, they really like posters. <laughs> that's yeah. it. You, uh, yeah, you begin to uh, look around a little bit. Um, you will find something. I just need to. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Test subject, silver tongue. Abilities prove to be causing bodily distress. Serum works for a short period. You must be talking about that super serum stuff. If Project Mind Blast is a success, subject may be able to prolong life, but we still succumb to death's door. The boils and lesson and the boils and lesions appear to still increase when abilities are used. If successful, we'll have to look into that. Uh, Monitoring of size continues. I'm I'm sorry, monitoring of subject continues. And then in 
red letters. I must find some way if Guardian fails, successes, this can't be the end. I have more to give. What use is the serum without me? I do not think I am curable, but I will not leave this mortal existence. Uh, there must be a way. Hmm. Experiments there. What do you guys think? The good news is that I no longer think that Weasel is silver tongue because he has no boils or lesions. This guy is wearing a mask because he has to wear a mask because he's grotesque exactly. because he's experimenting on himself. It's also not very easy to hide that under a, a you know, makeup or something like that. You yeah. have a bumpy face. But they have weapon and self-preservation. They are working on both uh, programs. We do not want them to succeed. Project Mind Blast. Yeah, I don't like the sound of it. Do you think that that serum could be what the shipment is? Could be. Maybe. Hmm. If they were awaiting the arrival of Silvertongue. They would have to have already developed it to the point where they could produce quantities of it to have a shipment of it. So, Which is... as you, just to also clarify, on top of seeing that, there are a couple of maps as well that you notice upon the rub on the upon the like rabble of documents. Um, and you notice there's a map of Santa Pietra, which has a couple of buildings circled. Um, and you also have, there's a map of the airport as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, Biscar the, the Biscari Airport. Well, it's an airfield, but on yeah. there it's marked as Biscari Airport. Oh, we are, maybe we need to intercept something at Biscardi. Hmm. Uh, looking at the map of Santa Pietro or Pietro, um, are any of the like markings uh, initialed AP? No. no. Okay. Yeah, maybe but... it is airport. Yeah. Do, do, makes... you, do you abbreviate airport? I feel like the P is part of. It's one letter. It's one. I don't know. I'm Welsh. I don't. I don't know. It is. I made a mistake. <laughs> but just to clarify, it is meant to be air airport. Well, it's actually meant to be. It was meant to say, uh, Biscari. It was meant to be. It was meant to be B A for Biscari Airfield. But for some reason, I put A P, and I don't know why. It's, it's an air park. So that that works. There you go. I, yes, I'm. I'm thinking like. Yeah, that 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 makes sense. Yes, of course, AP. I, ah, I was just uh, waiting for someone to try and bring it up so I could uh, correct my mistake. The uncomplicated <laughs> mind helps again. Yes, a little bit of dust puffs out. Live games, ear. there's nothing like them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, you have that information, and those two locations by. That is marked in Santa Pietra. You are uh, possible places like this building. So, okay, uh, two places in Sa Santa Pietra. Okay, all right. Uh, so, uh, the answer to that question: Yes, we can. I just want to know what you guys are going to do now. Now that you got that information, I just want to know. Let's get it. I, uh, when so I think it was Private Jones mentioned maybe he was having some people show up. So it's uh, now we got what we wanted out of this building. I suggest we uh, get out of here before his harmonica calls someone. Yeah, and I want to know why he's sitting there and playing, and maybe we need need to move him along uh, I, on one plane of existence or another. Um, so has any, have any of you been keeping an eye on Weasel during, obviously Johnson, were you still keeping an eye out? I, I, oh yes. Yeah, sure. Cause obviously while you guys were like 
Yeah. yeah. So, Johnson, for a brief moment, he was still there playing the harmonica. And then we could say as the rest are kind of regrouping to you, maybe you look at them briefly or blink or whatever. Suddenly, all that's there is a pile of clothes and the harmonica. Weasel is not there. Wow, he's doing some kind of magic. Yeah, uh, I got a vote. If we meet Weasel again, we kill him right away. Yes. Sounds good. He'll be tough to miss. He'll be the one that's naked. Hmm. You know, we all came here going specifically to see Weasel. And then there's Nazis associated with him who he knows. And we let him go and we search the building and we find a secret chamber with stuff in it. This all seems like a freaking setup. Like we're being sent right where they want us to be. Mm. Ah, but where they want us to be will probably have Silver Tongue. Which See is our mission. Yes, if they're putting cheese in the trap, we just have to not get hit by the trap and then we can have our cheese agreed yeah i'm not don't know about your pecorino but also the easy thing if it's a setup but don't look at his pecorino (laughs) it's a cheese you goons well i don't know what it smells like but (laughs) no it's never mind if they wanted to kill us then they put some uh, other guy in a red and black scarf and they shoot us in the market. They don't have to make us run through the maze, no? Well, maybe they want us to be somewhere. Why do they want us to be somewhere? I don't know. Because they want to kill us, they kill us in the market. It's easy. What if they don't want to kill us? Why don't they want to kill us? I want to kill us, some of us. I mean, if you could... If you could shoot somebody involved in, I don't know, Black Sun or something like that, as opposed to tricking Black Sun into really revealing where their headquarters are. Yeah, but we go to their headquarters. We think not like we invited them to our headquarters. I'm not so sure. Everything seems really sketchy to me. Too easy. It's a sketchy. Too easy. I mean, Weasel, he's a. That's a tricky guy, no? He helps us kill two of his friends. He disappears. He doesn't walk away when he could, so he shows us he disappeared. It's a no, uh, there's you're right. It's a tricksy. Not a maybe we're not the rat. Maybe we're like the rat the that cheese. goes before uh uh Va. Mm. Maybe we the pecorino. Useful. So do we want to go to San Pietro. Yeah, I yes. mean the colonel, right? The colonel's heading to the airport as well. Yes. Yeah. Maybe they're after him. Yeah, let's gather. Let's gather up Alan and Cabrera and, uh, and get. Yeah, they, they've just been by the truck the entire time. Yeah, get wrong. They're so quiet. <laughs> Chico Cabrera hasn't gone and drunk some bleach and and lie and. He's nah, face down, on... down in the gutter. No, nah, they're, they're, they're there. They're just chilling. They're, they're killing. Um, when it comes to it, uh, they'll be NPCs controlled by you guys to an extent. Gotcha. All right. They kept their truck safe. Let's roll out. Okay. So you guys go on your way to Santa Pietro. Um, on your way, you, you notice people are now ignoring you as you're driving out of where you are, and you head on off to Santa Pietro. Enjoy your freedom from America. We will take the break. Five minutes later. (laughs) Five minutes later. So, uh, you guys start to arrive at Santa Pietro. Um, it's It's a small village. Um, most people say it's not too far from the the major town that you guys have just been, but it is quite a distance. There are mm. 
villages closer it's a distance but it's in the region so that's why they class it as a village of that town uh, so you enter it's a small town um there's a few a few people around but if anything there are people looking at out their windows through their blinds at you guys rather than anything too obvious I, I, to be clear, uh, the assault as we approached uh, was from our left, and so they retreated away from this village? Yes, away from this village. Okay. If it were our right, they would have retreated over the hills and be closer to this village. Come here, but, yes. All right. So good. We, have, we are on the other side of that line. Yes. Uh, but people are obviously... Uh, anxious and closed off yeah yes yeah. small village a war's going on keep to themselves but yeah no real activity but it's quiet it's so quiet obviously you can hear your engine running really late. it seems very loud mm. considering nice work on the engine there jones Yep, so, yeah. better than it was. Mm. Said a small village, it's very easily dotted around it. You can easily follow that map and find those two locations if that's what you choose. Um, if you follow the map, you just go straight through uh, the village and turn uh, right, and then you come up to Biscari Airfield. You can't quite see it. You, you can maybe see a a structure pointing out over, but mm -hmm. can't quite see. Said the uh, the nearest uh, destination first. Uh, uh, sorry to be clear, the village of Ranga Sile, we just passed through, and there's nothing but people peering out. Uh, yeah, you pass through Ranga Sile, and it's the same as when you reached here. People just uh -huh. peering out. Uh -huh. uh, no roadblocks, no sign of uh, activity. If you go, I like, because the Vort said he was coming through, so you'd have expected to see some troops started along here somewhere. Mm -hmm. But no, too quiet, Yeah, you would like to say. All right. Uh, anyone have experience uh, scouting airfield for um, some hidden program or underground something? It, it, you know, these tiny places look like nothing to me. I'm I'm fairly good at figuring out things like that, but uh, based on the engineering, I'm very nervous about this i'm do i have any explosives at all are there any explosives with us or we, we can them? okay i'll give you i'll give you an option here lachlan for one of your fortunes you we could say that you have a cup maybe one or maybe one big explosive and then maybe a tiny little explosive device. So a All bigger right. boom and a smaller boom. All right. But one Can of I... your fortunes. So that's one. All right. So I've got something I can blow things up with. Yes. Yeah. And I think maybe I should go out and see if I can talk to a local about what's going on in the airfield. Okay. As we drive up, uh, just kind of looking, because these are like dirt roads, right? This We're not paved. Are we seeing tire tracks like ours ahead of us? Okay, yeah, so they did They did come this way. Yeah, that's the odd thing. You, you see the tire tracks, but there's no activity. Hmm. Because if there was something going on at the airfield... You'd hear something in the distance. Yeah. Maybe. It wouldn't be as quiet as it is. Yeah, an army moving. They're, they're not quiet. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So if I hop off 
uh, uh, and go around the field somewhere and say, and look for locals. Can I find... So, uh, Moretta, you're looking for locals, okay? Yeah. What are the rest of you going to do? I want to get us to the first place we were going to. As soon as we get this done, as soon as we get out of this creep, creepy place. Okay. Uh, what we'll say is uh, they're kind of in the set, they're almost opposite, well, diagonally opposite each other. So the first building's on the right, and then they're like small bungalow-style buildings. Right, right. But, and then the other one's diagonally opposite on the left. Like at a four-way intersection or caddy yeah. corners? Okay. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Want me to take point major? Uh, no, Corporal, we'll have Private Griffiths take point take point on that yes sir so you just got griffiths price and johnson you're all three of you are going to go into the first building yep yep uh jones what are you doing i'm following behind okay but so i'm I'm, of... I'm scanning i'm looking everywhere for any kind of trap okay that's that's fine we'll come back to that so as the four of you are together i'll go to moretti is uh, there by themselves okay. mm-hmm. uh moretti uh, yeah, you. A few of the locals kind of hiss. Well, don't hiss at you, but it's like they're hissing at you because strange stranger. Even though you're speaking in native tongue, maybe not C- a Sicilian native, but a tongue that they can uh, understand. Um, National standard. Uh, uh, so yeah, them. I would. I maybe I want to read. Some people uh, maybe clearly look like they are more Mussolini types and some people look like maybe they're more regional resistance types you can there's a bit of you, by the way people are dressed and acting and maybe even just from hairstyling and facial features some you can tell there's a divide in this village maybe that's why people keep away from each other you've seen many villages like this there's a way there's a lot of divide all across the country like this. Yeah. So. And, you know, there's a, sometimes there's a guy with a, even it's his own black shirt. He's not even official. Exactly. But he's like cultivating exactly. a little mustache. And and then there's the other people who are like locals. Yeah, yeah, keeping them to themselves and yeah. thinking of some way to get through. Yeah. Eventually, um, not a young, uh, we'll say, he's like maybe 17, a 17 year old boy. Uh, eventually drops down from a fence he's sat on and walks over to you, uh, speaks in Italian there. Uh, maybe uh, offer some cigarette or I am sorry for the rudeness of my fellow villagers. Well, it's a dangerous time to talk to uh, people who are strange, yeah. Interesting. It is, it is indeed. Uh, I see you came with uh, Americans. Yeah, it's a it's a group of people, but uh, yeah, international. It's true. Yeah, yeah. F- quite a few Americans came through the village earlier. I haven't yeah. heard a peep from them in a while. Uh, because they didn't make it out of the village. I don't know, they, they came through the village where they went. I'm pretty sure they went in the direction of the airport. Uh huh. In the airfield, but from the airfield, you can continue down a dirt path and end up in another village. So, for all I know, they just continued going. Mm-hmm. Uh hmm. And uh, in terms of other foreigners, have you seen? Germans or uh, anyone else? Germans. Uh, you no, know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. It, uh, you don't know who to trust in villages like this, you see? It is. No, I keep not. to my group, my circle of friends. And... Yeah. You're... Uh... What uh, what can you say about your circle of friends? Uh, we get into arguments because some are, are all for Mussolini and some are against, mm. and you know we get into debates. None of them would go off and fight for Mussolini. None of them. You get you get what I mean. 
Mm-hmm. It's a very talk. It's makes for interesting discussion. I just sit there, I smoke, I drink, I laugh at them. It's a fun time. You know, the gods gave us wine for a reason. Uh, so, is there anything that you have seen by the airport that uh, you think might be useful to someone who, let's say, is uh, not the biggest friend of the fascists? Well, uh, before the uh, airport was taken over, not by the Americans who came through, but by Americans a few days ago, um, uh, there was a small outpost embedded into it. Uh, prison, maybe? I saw them take a few people in uh, a few of the, uh, the Italian forces, escort a few people of different nationalities into mm. into the airfield. So. so they have taken some prisoners? Yeah, most likely. Uh-huh. But you don't know who the who was taken in. No, uh, most times you see people with sacks or uh, bags over their head. I don't know why. It's not like we're going to go and shout the rooftops. Hey, look, it's bloody blah. No, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm afraid they have. Um, uh, they have medical. Ideas that are dangerous. Uh, uh, I hope you uh, get through the war uh, healthy, my friend. Uh, so too. I hope you find what you are looking for. Grazie. Prego. We'll see you on the other side. I, I have a question for you, actually. Hmm. You You look familiar. Eh? Yes. It's not, not my part of the country at all. Uh, uh, it's it's the face. You look familiar. Um, some especially in the villages, uh, people used to hang up poster these these posters, and it'd be for this uh, organization. And uh, your face looks so much similar, like the the man who was on there. With his hands in the air, like he was preaching to the to the townsfolk. You look familiar. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, my family. I have some members of my family. It's true that uh, that were outspoken about. Uh, yeah. Unusual, not completely papal-approved faith, let's say. But this is old in my family. It is not. Uh, it Very is. Much. Yeah. It is. It, uh, I I must leave you now. I must. I must go and. Uh, see my mother. I'm sure she is uh, crying about something. Yeah, well, you keep your mama safe and yourself, and hopefully we'll be out of here very soon. Yeah, I am sure I will. Um, Moretti, uh, Tony, you notice as he walks off, um, on the back of his neck, he has a very familiar tattoo to you. Mm-hmm. Good and he know. walks off. I will I will I will say goodbye to him in a special way. Okay. He will he will look back a little confused and then he will uh maybe give you a little wink. No. And yes. So uh just to clarify some chat of us so or in the chat um so originally all the airports were taken over as part of the operation they tried to get paratroopers in and stuff to take control of all the air- airports 
airfield. So this airfield was one of them. Um, they left a couple of troops here uh, after they had taken it. And that's why Vought was coming to regroup because there would have been some supplies still here. Not necessarily troops still at the airport, but at least supplies. Because they would have been recalled to push further inland. Got it. And the prisoners brought there were before that even? Yes, before okay. that. Perfect. Just to clarify that. And now going back to the others. So who's entering All first? Right. Griffith, so you entering first. Yeah, uh, and I mean, at this point, if these are circled, he's not like yeah. knocking or anything. He's just kicking the door yeah. down. Make sure the door's not rigged. He's got a boot in the air. And he kind of sets it back down. I'll uh, take uh, a look before uh, before they do anything. Okay. Um, do me an engineering uh, role. Uh, insight plus engineer. That is a double win. A double win. I need 14 uh, and I got 7 and 6. I forgot to do it again. I keep forgetting. Uh, it, it was a difficulty of 1. Not okay. So, so then I get a I get a what you call it momentum. Yes. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, you you notice there's no there's nothing wrong with the door, but you have a quick glance at other. Um, one of the windows has a little uh mechanism that goes down. So you think if you tried going through the windows, you'd be standing on. So a pressure plate of some kind going in. Okay, I do think that there might be something rigged in here. I don't think the door is that. Be yeah. careful. All right. So you think we can open the door safely there, uh, Private Jones? Let, let me uh, let me do it. And I'll lock pick it. Okay. Okay. Um, I won't make you wrong. Uh, Same you, thing. You, engineering. I won't make you wrong. Don't worry. Oh, okay. You can just lock, you just open it, and you're careful. So you'll open it very slowly, just in case you miss something. Okay. And no, it opens fine. Which again, for you, it confuses you, because why rig the windows and not the door? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right, boys, let's get this this done. It's getting close to tea time. <laughs> I say. Uh, looking, though, if Jones pointed out the pressure plate, what's that connected <clears throat> to? Is there like a, a grenade just kind of hanging out on the floor? Yeah, it's, it's just like it's attached to a, a bunch of string and there's like some grenades just oh. in a little thing. <clears throat> Can I disarm it and take the grenades? Uh, yes, but I will need an explosives roll from you. Okay. Uh, once again, double a pass. Yeah. Um, it could have been rarely as anything. It could have been with agility. Oink. It could have been with coordination. Oink. Oink. Yeah. Oink. Okay. Nice. Uh, that would have been a too difficulty because you are. But then yeah. you have your special ability anyway, which adds an extra dice to disarming. Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I would have had three. So you that would have also third. been a success. So I've had three successes. Hot dice. Well, Hot dice. It, that's that's my best thing. I, yeah, I yeah. get up 14. I love, I love it. Yeah. So um, we can say you get four grenades from that. Okay, and I'll pass them out to anybody who wants one. Like like, party favors. Mm -hmm. I'll take one. I have okay. to bend down to get into the building. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you ha you have to crouch. <laughs> you have to. Well, not crouch. You have to duck mind, under. mind the beam. Is yeah. Is this a <laughs> uh, two story building or a one story building? It's um like a bungalow. Yeah. All right. But you assume there's a basement. Yep. All right, who's going to... I need someone to keep an eye on the door watching the building that's catty corner. 
and while the rest sleep. I'll keep a lookout, Major. All right, Cor- All right, Corporal. I'll move forward looking for any other tricks or traps. Okay. Um. So, Jones, you can do me uh, an observation. Inside observation. That's an eleven. I got one success. Okay, yeah, it was just it was just a one. Um uh so yeah, you do notice, but because of your other role, you you'll be able to disarm it without rolling. Um but yeah, you notice on the um step on the doorway going down into the basement, there was a little tripwire. Okay. But with careful precision. You well, somebody doesn't want to... us in here, obviously. Yeah. All right. Does it look like uh, these, you know, traps had went off before? Like, was there like char marks on the inside? Like, someone had set it off and they had reset it? Pointing that out, that's what appears to be the issue with the front door you came through. There's just some minor marks. Mm. But it appears there was. A trap there. No one replaced it. Okay. All right. So we finished the uh, ground floor? Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't find anything on the ground floor. All right. I'm already halfway down the stairs. <laughs> still looking for traps. Okay, James. As uh, you get down the stairs... For the first time, I'm going to get this correct. With a two difficulty, <laughs> I remembered, guys. You are going to roll me an agility athletics. Oh, spend a momentum on that one. Oh. Just, Do I have to spend the momentum f- first? Yeah, yeah. If you if you want to an an extra die. If that's what you want to use your momentum for. Wait, he just said fortune. something about critical. Uh, sorry, a fortune point would get you a, a critical. fortune for critical. Yes, the momentum lets you buy. I'll one spend one. the fortune point. Okay. Well, so I automatically get a critical. I would have failed one of those anyway. Yeah, so. if you die. So it means yeah. you get two automatic. So you pass because the critical gets you right. two. Um, so yeah, as you go down this you manage to move out the way as this like possibly dog it's quite dark down here just lunges at you and hits into the wall oops animal and i'll back up is it a werewolf <laughs> no it's not, a, it's not a werewolf don't worry don't worry that's not this game um the closer you look at it jones and now you you can actually it's a dog, but it appears to have tentacles coming out of its back. Oh. Griffiths is torn between wanting to animal handle it, but also <laughs> I think he's just gonna, from the top of the stairs take a shot at it. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's got tentacles, Jones. And it's making a weird dog growl, but it's mixed with this like Weird, almost like a Wookie sound, I guess. Yeah. On top of the shoot that piece of shit. Get it down. <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna shoot at it. Okay, so we'll I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with you, Griffiths. We'll start this combat encounter with you. So roll, roll. Well, if that's what you're doing as a shoot for your major action, uh, roll me a brawn plus. All right. Well, I'm gonna. You know what? We got momentum and to spare. Dif- I'm gonna difficulty. Keep spending it. Difficulty would be two. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely spending one momentum to get that extra sweet die. Uh, so, oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's no. Oh oh. I'm going to re-roll the 20, the 19, and the 17 that I just oh. did by spending a fortune point. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's much better. That's a critical and then two successes. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now, 
you can roll me your die. Yeah, uh, he's just trying to light this thing up at this point. Uh, oh lord. Okay, one one five five, and then a two and a. F- okay, that that's nothing. So two ones, two fives, and a two. Okay. So uh, is five one each? Uh, five de- again. It depends on the GM. It's either one and an effect or two and an effect because you count the effect as one. But it depends gotcha. on the GM. For me, I do two and an effect just to give you more stress because some of the enemies are tougher than others. So. so six and an effect. Uh, I think if I'm adding uh, those you, up correctly, you get two ones. Two. A I think two, I figured. So I figured it out as eight. I think I don't know. Going by what I heard you say. Uh, that might be right. Because they say two ones are two, and then two fives. And then two fives. Yep. Okay. Yep. The two yeah, fives. So yeah, that's what it. I yep. And you'd have effects. Uh, so and I think the effect he'd like to do is just to kind of knock it back a little bit away from Jones. Okay. He's, so he's... I can't... you 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 hit into it, and it, I guess, jumps back you still hit into it and a bit of something oozes out of it but it jumps back and it switches to its turn Uh and uh jones you start to see its tentacles lunging out to you as it comes right towards you uh jesus christ oops but dice don't like me I just rolled a fucking 20 (laughs) yeah Mm. the consequence we could just say straight off about you literally slice off the tentacles as it comes towards you it's like a little reflex to its consequence Um, I still need to roll the other just as no no so it goes to your turn, Jones. Okay. Um, if it's is it lunging at me still? It's attempting to, but you've cut I'm, off a few of its tentacles. I'm I'm going to try to jam this right, right here on the dog, into its heart as it comes forward, using its okay. momentum coming at me. Okay. Yeah. What do I do? Let's see. Uh, it'd be a major action, so do a brawn plus fighting. And it'd be a two. It's difficulty two. This Ooh. encounter. Not That's very likely to pass. Sp- I need spend eight. Some, spend some momentum. We got plenty. So yeah, the momentum gives dice. me an extra dice? Yeah, what, yes. one momentum gives you an extra dice. Three momentum gives you two dice. Is that correct? I'll, I'll try to read. <laughs> you could spend your fortune, too, and leave us momentum. Yeah, yeah. You gain momentum back. So what did I need? I'm sorry. Uh, brawn, and brawn plus an, fighting. That's an eight. Oh, I got two of them. Okay, I got two, and I missed the other one. Just for future, I'm not too bothered as it's a one shot. Uh, if you're going to spend momentum on a die to roll extra, you need to. In theory, you would call it before you roll any of your die. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. obviously I meant to tell you the difficulty before you roll and then you can judge whatever you're... Oh, you know, okay. Well, I, I did to... call it. I did call it yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, cool. just, just to clarify mm-hmm. it for future and then I don't get any angry commenters saying that I, I didn't... <laughs> Uh, yeah. well, you might get those anyway. You never know. It, it, it would just be no it angry be, comments. It would just be Thomas. <laughs> it would just be Thomas in the in the in the comments moaning at me. It's like, ah. This is our first um, time playing this. No angry comments. Yes, you can have angry comments to me. That's fine. I can. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I can do. I've run this a few, quite a few times, especially in the old system. But anyway, back to the. Uh, conflict itself yeah you just stab it and it goes down i won't even get you to roll the stress dice it it will just straight up but i do feel sad because somebody raised this and loved it cared for it and then some job as you kill it it just dissolves into a goopy mess 
Well, that's inconvenient. Is the goopy mess a blue at all? Not blue. It's like a green goopy mess. Jones, you probably don't want to keep that on you. Maybe find a tap or something. Well, I'm I'm going to wipe it off with something. I don't want it on my knife. Nicely done. A, yeah, I bet there's a banner around here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> All right. What do you see down in the basement there, Jones? Um, switch. <laughs> there's a there's a light switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now let me clear it. Make sure there's a dead goopy dog. Um, so I, I look around. Is there a light switch that doesn't look like it's rigged? Yeah, there's a normal looking light switch. All right. Yeah, you uh, you turn it on. Um, and yeah. All right. So you look around. A lot of posters and memorabilia. <laughs> there's st- big like banners and that down here. Uh, there's a few chairs and tables. It seems like there's a there's some poker chips and a deck of cards. So they probably come down here and play some poker. Uh, there's a desk. There's a radio. On a desk, there's a few bits of paper. I'm really curious to see why they went so serious about you know protecting this place with booby traps everywhere i don't think it's for the posters <laughs> maybe they're may west posters looks like they all came down here and all over everything um we see James yeah. Griffiths and Price are down here. Johnson's still upstairs. Moretti, at this point, you would have probably come across. That's what you were going to do. Yeah. So it's up to you, Moretti, where you are. If you're up there with Johnson, or you come and join the other three. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we start. <laughs> uh, I start on the outside. So, well, you know, and I look around. Yeah. I want to see also if there's any uh, other indications of other people I should know or or indications of uh, resistance being a present or or the opposite if there's uh, you know com- compelling indications that these people are pro Mussolini. Or there's any indication of something less... Yeah, the only thing that you really see is there's markings of the same thing as your truth that belong to the same thing as that specific truth that you have. Markings of it, like, painted on walls. So would I I consider this uh, equivalent to, like, sanctifying or the opposite yeah possibly you would uh-huh. probably say it's a haven of kinds going by the symbols used in the the stylings yeah so i want to see if there's any yeah I, I i will keep mum and look for maybe there's indication there's a chain of marks like that or insignia that suggests something maybe there's a a catafalc or a, a little secret chamber or something that that is indicated i'll investigate this okay um yeah i'll just stay close this leads you into another building by the way and un- another unoccupied building actually next door to this current building that everyone else is in i'm but gonna check back- out next door but he's not on about the one diagonally opposite. He's on about directly next door. Um, yeah. But I will come back to you, Moretti. Going right. back down. Uh, Lachlan, Griffiths, and Price. Yeah, I'm uh, looking for any uh, books or anything because uh, I can read German. So, Okay. Um, I'm looking for pretty pictures, diagrams, that sort of thing, because I can't speak German. <laughs> well... Looking around, uh, you don't find anything 
too important, but you do find some like scribblings and then you find some entries, test subject entries. Test subject angel. The test was seemingly inconclusive. The subject did hold themselves together for the two hour test. All vitals were normal. No distress caused. Value was increased and the subject put under for another hour. Vitals went through the roof, but subject survived. Angel Dean, poor candidate for this, may be of use for other projects. Angel will be sent to the iron cells. Fucking Nazis. Test subject, demon. The test went better than expected. The subject proved very attentive, however, appears to profusely bleed from the nose. Maybe a sign of damage to the brain. Value increase. Subject was subjected to three more hours. Same results. Subject was put into rest phase. Subject died during rest phase. Brain matter dissolved. It appears the tests were increased too soon. Hmm. They're doing some nasty tests on things. I hope we don't encounter any of these. Well, we don't have to worry about demon. It's, it's dead. I guess. So is Rover. One would almost think that the Nazis did not have a great deal of respect for human life. Mm. Well, it's bad seeds in all organizations. They're all bad seeds from the Nazis. So, uh, kind of do a, after reading those things, kind of do a quick look around. Are there any other doors in this basement, or is it just one big one, one big room? Or any fake walls? All three of you can do me a roll. Uh, uh, Lachlan, you can do me. uh, architecture the rest of you can do me observation uh this will be with uh a thing magicry bad uh with insight how many do we have uh, it's a target. difficulty of two bingo two only one two so, Pricing Jones, uh, you guys together find a little bit of stone that pushes in, and then a doorway opens. Uh-huh. And, it, and in front of you is a tunnel. And funnily enough, the tunnel goes diagonally. Mm-hmm. It goes in, it goes up a bit, and then leads into a little curve diagonal. Mm-hmm. As how they kept their buildings connected. So, well, do we have flashlights? I assume we have flashlights. Yeah, yeah standard. Let me go, go first and look for traps. All right. Where do you want me, Major? Um, I'll have you right behind uh, Private Jones, then uh, Private Griffiths, and uh, is Corporal Moretti with us, or is he over in the other building? Moretti is in the other building. Which I'll come to in a second. Uh, Johnson, I need to clarify. It's going to be a squeeze getting down this tunnel for you. Mm -hmm. Then I'm probably not going to enter because I don't want to block the path for everyone. If that's okay, Major. Let's make it difficult to shoot past you, sir. Should he? Uh, Should he? It does. It does. Does it mean you can't go from the top? Yeah. Yeah. Should should he go see what Moretti's up to? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I will assist with Moretti because the other yeah. diagonal building, it's probably trapped all hell in back. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, then I'll go, I'll go, I'll go right the... behind Private Jones and have Private Griffiths okay. behind me. It's the Jones Price Griffiths. Okay, that's... okay, so now I'm going to Moretti before Johnson arrives. Uh... Moretti, you go into the building. And you instantly get that smell of incense that you're very used to. Mm. And 
you follow the signs. There's signs on the walls that lead you into the basement of this building. Uh, and does yeah. it seem as though uh, it has been uh, very trafficked or uh, mostly only recently? or every It's got that every so often lived in traffic, not frequent. Yeah, used, but not public in that sense. Yeah. Okay. So you go down and instantly you see the altar, an altar that you're very used to, or was used to. And there's the place where the book used to be. Obviously, there's no book here. Uh, and then you hear a voice. How may I help you? Uh, we, we have not resolved uh, my relationship to this part of my past. Well, it is completely up to you, and you can obviously talk about it now, but it is completely up to you. Yeah. So having been raised in a cult, uh, do uh, I'm going to uh, just lip a die about whether I think they're good or bad. I think they're good. Uh, I, I saw that I saw the markings above and came down for wisdom. We are tracing uh, malefactors. So I hope perhaps you can protect my friends and I from what is happening. It is. Ah, ah. I see now. You know, when the man gets closer, you notice his eyes are gouged out. He has no eyes. Mm -hmm. Literally nothing. He's like, I see now, child. I recognize that voice. I can help you, but you know there's a cost. Yeah, it is always a cost. We are we we trade from one life to another, master. It's been a long time. We don't need the formalities anymore. We're not as active as we used to be. Yeah, the world shifts and we shift. The truth that remains the same, no? Mm, it is true. If only, uh, if only people understood. It is not for everyone to have knowledge or wisdom. It is for few. Okay. Um, uh, sit with me, child. Of course. Shall I offer know. blood? Blood. Um, so I I would describe to you Moretti here, just so that you have a... So this will give protection to all of you, which will add um, an extra armor to each of you. Um, it will cost blood, which isn't too bad, which will mean you will lose free stress I will add to, free stress personally yes you will add free stress to yourself so it will take a toll on you but everyone gets plus one to their armor and possibly something else which I will not disclose but it will um, cost you one more stress <laughs> Right, this is what faith means, no? Yes. Are, are you willing to accept, just before I continue with what I'm going to say? Of course, Signore. Okay. Well, let us play to the God of Thousand Forms. And the prayer continues. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I have a quick question. 
Um, if we've worked with Corporal Moretti for a while, are we aware that there's some magic you haven't in- worked you haven't worked with Corporal oh, Moretti. This okay. is your first mission. You four are the only ones who have worked together. Okay. Moretti was assigned to you by uh, Section M. Okay. I I am though starting to get vibes as we go along that there might be a little yeah you magic you're... in here. Hmm. You get a little oddness. But yes, um all right. I wouldn't think uh, that it's in any way of danger because you know him. Yeah. Uh similar to uh, uh the child. May the crawling chaos be with you. Forever, Signore, and with you. You may be on your way. You can all mark one extra armor to your feet. And I and guess I will catch up with Johnson on the way from the cellar. John, yeah, Johnson will kind of... Uh, Johnson, to you, um, there's no... It's going to be weird because all of a sudden a door appears because there wasn't a door there like it was blocking you from going down and then it just appears. Then a Moretti walks out. Everything uh, clear? What was that? <laughs> it's... Uh, this building is... Uh, very safe, Corporal Johnson, and uh, I think you will also feel like me a little, uh, a, a bit. Uh, what you say? There's a little it's, more spring in my Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. A little, a, a little strength, a little, a little jump. Yep. As you walk. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a friendly. This this place was a, a little friendly place for me, and there's nothing to fear in this building. Okay, understood. Look onward. So, are we heading to the building diagonally, which is most likely trapped? If that's where the brothers are, that's they're where going, we're going underneath in the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Do you want to just pound in like a barrel, like we are? Yeah. Maybe some people sneaky, some people go in <laughs> strong, no? I'm just concerned that if we break down a door, it also drops grenades down there and then they collapse. No, yeah, no, this is thinking. I I think it's good. All right, we'll just think. we'll look. No touching. We could go around uh we can we can uh we can look at the whole block. Sounds okay. good. Check look the out for any Nazis as well. Climb around, yeah. See if there's snipers. See. I don't like snipers. It's harder to wring their necks. They're so far away. It's uh, it's a cowardly thing. Also, though, sometimes to be quiet is a, is wisdom. Come see, come see. I'll nod sagely. Okay. So, you two are going across, but I'll come to you in a second. Uh, the three of you, you've had a bit of time to get down the tunnel. You've reached the end of the tunnel. Okay. All right. Is there a door? Uh, there is a door. Well, yeah, it's, it's obviously like a stone panel, and you can just click in the, uh, the little stone. Okay. Was there anything in the tunnel? No. Maybe a little bit of, uh, maybe a very tightly uh, placed banner in there, but you don't know how they've managed to keep it there, but there's a banner in there. All right. So I, I pushed the uh, thing. I'm I'm always looking for traps. There's no traps. Um. So, as you push the thing, bearing in mind you guys have the advantage, Um, as you press the thing, you all notice there's a light on in here, and you'll see as they very um, uh, awkwardly stare at you as they realize something's going on, but they've <laughs> got poker cards. There's four uh, officers just there playing um, poker, and they all just turn Nazi around. Nazi officers? Nachtruf officers. Uh, so they have a little logo. Um, well, in that case, as I come through the door, I'm just like, gentlemen, don't move. And then the rest then, come in behind then, me. Then I translate for him. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, don't move. 
<laughs> so yeah the four of them are obviously they were caught off guard they're playing mm-hmm. poker at the moment um so yeah uh to be other two briefly before i continue your little altercation so the other two what are you doing you reach the door of of the building we're just uh, looking yeah looking listening okay so you guys can do me uh insight observation then. uh with a difficulty of two uh-huh. you guys... I, failed. Uh, I, I have success. one success of so not enough okay so uh yeah you guys don't seem to notice anything uh you don't notice any traps on the doors, windows. You can't see if there's anyone in the floor. You yeah. both kind of just... Creaky, there's a little bit of light, a little bit of noise. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you're kind of unsure. You might even hear like a screeching of a chair somewhere in the building, but you don't quite know. You're just unsure. Too echoey. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Even though you're outside, but you know, you guys aren't sure. No gunshots. Um, exactly, no gunshots. The three of you downstairs. Um, so as you are going, um you will be entering combat, but I will describe what happens before. Uh Locke, you will get first turn because you were, but I will describe what happens. Um the table suddenly kicks up and three of them obviously uh, end up behind the table, but the one in front um, just suddenly is standing there and a blue beam just goes straight through his head and it just narrowly misses you, Locke. And you just see this nice little spherical shape in his head as he falls to the ground. And there's one, a fourth, you don't know where they've come from, but a fourth officer with a giant blue glowing gun just pointing right at you, Look. Okay, so it's my turn? It's your turn, right. Steph. So I was waiting. If, if I saw even a flinch, I was going to put a bullet in somebody. But the table flips up. The beam you shoots. Have it- because I'm, you were prepared, we can say you you could have shot at one of the two to the well, sides. I'll I'll live with what it is right now. When the when the okay. thing goes, I'm going to dive over to the side, okay. um, and then I'm going to shoot up at whoever is behind the table. I don't know how okay. far away they are. Oh, it's not. It's not them. It's, it's not the biggest of rooms, the room, so they're probably right. they're probably in the second zone. So it, they're not close, but okay, there. So I've dived to room. the side as the beam goes off, and I fire up into the whoever's sure. behind the table. Are you firing at the guy with the beam or one of the other three? Obviously, you can't. Really, you could shoot through the table. It's a wooden table. So. Uh, I don't want to take advantage. I'm. I'm because I'm jumping all the way over to the side. I can now probably see who's behind the table, and I'm just going to generally shoot into uh, the sure center well. mass. Okay, so your minor action is diving. Uh, your major action is to roll me a uh, brawl, uh, a brawl firearms, a brawl firearms. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, uh, a brawl uh, firearms. Brawn fighting. Fighting. Yes. Yes. Brawn fighting. Um, okay. Because you're That's using your eight. Hands. That's an eight. Uh, no, I am firing blankly, probably hitting the wall. Okay. Uh, just to clarify, we are at two for the entire counter, two. Okay. Uh, I got the, zero. Uh, yeah. So I hit nothing, but I probably scared the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. People can hear the gunshots now. <laughs> yeah. Johnson and Murray, you will, but I'll come to you. So it goes to it zigzags back to that side um it will go to um the beam man first Ugh, beam man uh he is just gonna shoot straight down that tunnel so obviously price you are 
there. So um, wouldn't they have gotten a chance at least to dive out of the way? Or oh yeah, yeah. Protect? You're pro. You're probably not. You're probably either prone or maybe you're you've got out the way of the tunnel, but he is shooting in that direction. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I did get two successes. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, price. You are going to only take two stress okay. as you get a slight burn ah. across from that beam. You just get a burn across your arm. Mm. Damn it! And so we zigzag back. Uh, we can go to you, Price. Okay. I'm going to, that was uh, the order you guys were in the tunnel, so yep. I will go... I'm going to yell out fucking and then throw out a racial term for a German. And then I'm <laughs> going to uh, fire away with my revolver and I'm going to spend six momentum to add uh, two dice, uh, three dice. Well, you're going all in here. <laughs> it's there to spend, right? It is there to spend. All right. Okay. So it's a uh, brawn fighting. Yep. Okay, uh, first two dice missed. Second two are two hits, and the third dice is a uh, two, which is a third three three successes. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll me, uh, roll me some uh, stress dice. Okay, so that's my damage for the weapon, and it's d yeah. sixes. Yeah. I got a six and a three, and a one and a two. Okay, so one, two. Uh, so you do five stress. Okay. Who were you? So that's I was shooting at the a beam. Good, beam that's dude. a that's a critical to him because it's five. It's like um in Call of Cthulhu. Uh, yeah. so um, you know, you know what? Just for the sake of the poopiness and what, uh, as he's seemingly recharging, like you see this capsule come out, you just straight up shoot right in the eye and he just falls back then i'm gonna like that react reactionary shot to him like burning past you yeah and i of course uh as mess as i can't get out of private griffith's way <laughs> <laughs> okay so we zigzag back to the other three um you won't see him but they're actually reloading their weapons and getting ready so we zigzag back to griffith's all right. Outside. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Griffiths is kind of looking down. Price is taking these shots. They're kind of behind the table, right? Yeah, they, that's free beyond the cover. table. It's a very shoddy wooden table. So. Uh, yeah, he's just going to shoot through the table. Just he's a spray and pray kind of guy, I think. What are you shooting with? Just uh, uh, the rifle. The rifle, the, uh, so M1 carbine. Yeah. It's, it's in, inside fighting. Insight fighting, yes, because you're using insight range. I've been doing fighting. it wrong. Insight and fighting. Oh, I see. So I would because be... you get ranged bonuses with insight, and I've been, yeah. Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying. If yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're mm. using, um, or yeah, you can do can... you can do brawn because you're not out of range, so you can do brawn if you I want. I see. I see. I that is much better for me. Um, can I spend my minor action to aim? this round as well yes yes you Wonderful. can um i have two yes. successes so i'm gonna just keep that where it is okay Four rolls yeah um you just roll me your stress dice that's a. Uh, let's see i've got a one one oh lord this is bad two that table's stronger uh so i have two ones everything else was a three or a four ah Ooh. Um, that table's what is that is that is that, that that's really like, well made like teak <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe you hear a little uh swear word in german like they've been glazed a little bit but, <laughs> but yeah that's about it so we zigzag back to the german uh one of the germans the one on our left um 
he is going to uh, come up over the table and just start spraying and praying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now now I'm diving for cover. That makes up for my 20 earlier. I just yeah. rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> out. Ah! <laughs> my <Okay>. balls! <laughs> Three successes. For me, it works both ways. Um... <laughs> You are diving out the way, Griffiths, yeah? Okay. So you're all within a, a thing anyway. Uh, so what is everyone's armor at? Uh, Jones, Griffiths, and Price. You got two, yeah. three, two. Okay. Uh, I'm already so, dived out of the way. Yeah, you, you're you on the, basically on the floor. The floor. Enough. Right. Um, and then it includes all the plus price, one yeah. armor that you got magically. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Yours is at two, yeah, price? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you take one stress. Because he's okay. spraying and praying, you take one stress. Griffith, your armor soaks up the, uh, the damage, so you are fine. <laughs> As you dive out the way. <laughs> a little just... tendril catches a bullet and just kind of pokes it out of the air. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you are fine. Um, Meanwhile, before we go to Jones, uh, Johnson and Moretti, you're technically not in combat, so you are you can freely move until you enter the combat zone. Yeah, we hear right. the gunfire at this point, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm actually no, looking around. The basement is exploding, yeah. I'm going to see if there's anyone running towards us from the street level. No. All right, then. Time to let ourselves in. Mind the traps. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going, and I'm looking for a back stair to the cellar because we can hear that da, 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 da is coming underneath. Yes, I, I'm, I'm thinking that there is another way down, a kitchen st- stair or something. I will follow Corporal Moretti's uh, lead because they are a lot. They have more expertise than uh, I do. Okay, so for the purposes of flow, you two, especially with Murray's skill, you two get in and you do find there's another way down, um, which brings you both right behind the three Germans beyond the table. Yeah. And it's argued oh. most likely the way the, the big guy with the uh, thing got in. Or came through because as you go down this like ladder, um, there it's like a small room, and then you can press in a button and it op- and it opens up a small compartment down below, and you can crawl under and you're there. We're there, all right. So if we're right behind them, might as well attack. Yeah, jo- the just for, Johnson, you can get through because obviously, if this guy can crawl under with massive like. Gun, you can definitely get under. So I'd probably good. scoot in first, though, because I don't have a stoop so much. Uh, and then I probably take a shot at the big one just because he looks like the problem. Well, the big one's dead, so it's fine. Yeah, oh, big one's hole. down. He's got a okay. hole in his head. <laughs> yeah, it's got, you can see his body, blood coming out. Uh, there's just three beyond the table. They haven't actually noticed you because they're more focused on it's pretty loud the shooting from that side yes. so yeah i just uh yeah i get up close yeah you, he's got the you well rod it's close. quiet yeah you two are literally close um and they aren't aware of you Murray, by the way yeah oh, yeah that's true i got uh a special assassination skill yes Although there's no reason to be quiet because it's a the whole never is like, full of yeah. fire. So no, I just yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move through a wave uh Johnson through and say and then the two of us could take out two without anything. Okay. Uh for a little bit of cinematic flair, because that's where we're in. A little bit of cinematic flair. You two have the jump. Moretti, you are a, a master assassin anyway. Um 
maybe uh, Johnson, describe how you're going to kill the one on the right. All right, so I am going to power walk towards them, turn them around, grab the back of their head, and then headbutt. (laughs) Nice indent of your head goes into this guy's skull as you hear it crack. Uh, Moretti, how do you kill the one on the left? Uh, uh, It's uh, the flare for me is just being behind them. Uh, so it's maybe I put the the gun at the neck and then I grab the hair and I do a sort of simultaneous like pop decapitation. I I shoot my pull. It's quiet. It's okay. messy. It's, it looks very bad for survivors. Mm-hmm. A, a lot of blood. Yeah, nice. That's what we're here for. Blood everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Meanwhile, the one in the middle decides to clamber over the table, and it's Jones's turn at the start of this round. And now you're seeing this third one with his machine gun not looking at you now, clambering over. What the fuck just happened? I have been making plans on what to do since my last move, but I decide since I suddenly can see Johnson and uh, Moretti come through that door, not to throw the hand grenade. Um, <laughs> although it upsets me a little bit because I was going to get to use my innuendo to yell out, you know, the chicken just laid an egg in the hen house. And uh, <laughs> so I'm I'm laying there. Uh, I'll, I'll yell out, uh, yeah, he's got a what was it a submachine gun? He's got a submachine gun. So, I'm afraid if I shot and it missed, it would hit one of you, and I've yeah. already shot twice. Okay. So the most I can do is just yell out. Again, uh, zigzagging back to him, he's now on the ground. Trying to crawl away, crawling back into you guys, basically, into the three of you to the other side of the room. And, oh, wait, so he's on the ground? Yeah, he's oh. now on the ground because he's he's kind of gone over the table backwards, and now oh. he's fallen on his back, and he's he's not looking at you. He's kind of oh, forgot he's... about you three. He's more can... focused on the two people who just. Brutally well, killed his. Can I scoot comrades. towards him and just slice his throat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is exactly for cinematic flair. Yeah, you just and I spin it around and I slice his throat, and and extra blood spurts out for Evil Dead level of blood. <laughs> and so yeah, there's just blood everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> and Kill. all five of you are back together. Yikes. All right. Um, uh, guys have been hit. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Corporal Johnson, grab that uh, gun that big guy uh, had. You got it. Pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Johnson, picking it up, you really don't know how it works, but um, you notice that the guy has three glowing blue cells on his back and there's a slot for them to go into. So even the dumbest of people can deci- can decipher <laughs> that they go into the slot. Sounds great. I will put them on my uh, ammo belt. And now you've got a big ass gun. Damn and straight. I mean a but what's in gun. here? Check, what's in yeah. this room? Check his pockets for a silver mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll roll the bodies. Is- yeah, there isn't a silver mask. Um, yeah. We'll have to investigate it, the whole place. In this room, so just to speed up, because you guys would look in, um, you do notice that there is references to the bunkhouse in the airport, and in, in the airfield, and there's references to keeping the prisoners down below and reference to Silver Tong. It's a little place if you get like down yeah. there as his own little room down there um you also find 
this piece of inform this test subject information, um, which I will uh, share now. No. Okay. Uh, now, or soon, or pretty soon, or in a bit. Mm. I what? is there any uh, pumice soap? I want the blood is so it gets so sticky when it dries and maybe itches. I'd like to find some good soap before we leave. Oh. Yeah, you can find some good soap. It and seems now... pointless to wash off if we're just going to go down and get bloody again. I sure. Let's see, see, this is the different. This is the American mm -hmm. and the European. Like, why make your bed? You're just gonna. Yeah, every time you're gonna. Every time you poop, you don't have to wipe your butt because you're gonna poop again someday. You brush your teeth. You're gonna eat again. It's a, so, it's it's the difference in now timing. You can see the document. Best subject guardian. Subject proved restless. Tests were not working. Massive increase in value required. Upon further increase, test subject was under test successful. Upon success, guardian was at full speed. Now a field test is required. These people could be a little more specific, I think. Hey, you don't want must, specific notes. That will give you must, too much. They must be masters of any window. Ah, no, you, sir, you have a talent for that. Could, could that be something they're doing at the bunkhouse? That's their secret testing prisoner lab? We should head there as soon as possible. Immediately, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe the silver it. tongue is there. Let's get a, let's get Alan and Cabrera. Okay, so you guys go up, back to the truck. Yeah, yep. and sadly, there is no Alan or Cabrera. Yeah. They are not there. Jesus, I mean, these guys are as worthless as their mom's ovaries. They produce nothing of value. <laughs> Um, Human shields. <laughs> do, do we see a direction they went, though? The truck's no. still here, right? Yeah, the truck's still there. Is there blood, blood no. spatter? Is there some indication? A few drops of blood. <sighs> Won't you actually pay attention? There's a few drops of blood. It means uh, I have to check the car for, for traps and bombs now. Oh, God. Did they get abducted? <laughs> you have not a clue. Yeah, well, we search. I I do a circle of the vehicle and look more blood spatter. Is there, or can I see uh, the glint of a sniper or what? You know, anything. And everything seems fine. You do not know where these two gentlemen disappeared. To. In... And your oh. truck is fine as well, Jones. God damn these two. A um, question of the blood splatter because we're seeing it. Is it just like a, oh, it's something dropped, or is it like a lot of velocity, like they got hit by something fast? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Soaring fast. Uh, yeah. Re Reese is kind of looking at the blood splatter and the dirty, he kicks it around. Hey, this is like when somebody, like someone at the farm got hit by a full speed horse. Hmm. The Cabreras die, but they don't suffer much. <laughs> they never suffer. Hmm. Uh, well. In regard to my own, uh, the, the fact that there, I had a religious center nearby, is this associated with this or unrelated? That's good. Okay. So you get in the truck and you, I assume, go off to the airfield. Yeah. Hell on, yeah. On your way to the airfield, you will see the uh, sprung up half body of uh, Sergeant Cabrera uh, hanging from a tree. Oh, there he is. And you will see Alan's head on a pole in there. Just 
in the middle, <laughs> somewhere close by the Cabreras. Yeah, maybe we I stay did... together and don't split up so much. Yeah, I think they didn't want Cabrera's body. Bad they luck. took Alan's body. I guess. I mean, look strange. at Cabrera. I mean, it's not in the best of shape. I would. To the airfield, and when you get there, instantly you realize why there's been no commotion over here. Uh, the gate is ruined. Um, there are trucks there, but there's blood everywhere, and that's when you start to notice there's corpses everywhere. All right. Littered everywhere. And there's obviously there's the runway, and there's a couple of buildings. There's a a warehouse, but the doors are wide open, so you can see in there and from where you are. You can't see like directly around the corner of it, but you can get a view and don't appear to be anything in there. Then there is another building to the right of the warehouse. Major, okay. if I can offer a suggestion, could we park close to the bunkhouse? I, I'm getting concerned when they say this thing's up to full speed. Uh, maybe they have some juiced up motorcycle or something that they're just running around and hitting people with. Maybe we got Johnson and his new toy. Yeah. Um, this thing's only got what three shots? Well, we only saw experiments on three things: so Angel, Satan, and Guardian, right? Yep. More and like the, target practice. Yeah, and. The Satan one should already be dead, according right. to the notes. Angel yep. has, according to the notes, Angel has been sent to a prison. The Iron so Oh yeah. So yeah. historically, uh, are there any uh, planes on the airfield outside? No. Nothing on the runway. That's good because I don't want anybody getting away. Uh. So we go building to building, maybe. Well, we go straight to the bump cap bunk bunk house, and it looks like the basement. All right. Yeah, let's make these Nazis pay. They've already murdered everybody here, so. Lock and load, gentlemen. Uh, so as you walk through the bodies, um, you can all do me uh an inside observation. As you're walking towards the warehouse slash uh, difficulty, uh, a two difficulty. Well, well, only got one critical fail. Okay, so okay, yeah, you guys continue on. Nothing is. I, no. sure, I sure hope the colonel isn't in one of those piles. Good. So you continue, mm-hmm. and. You get to you, you can once you walk past the warehouse, you can see in, and it looks completely ransacked, um, like stripped inside and out, like they've stripped it for parts or any supplies that are in there. The Americans who were here before this lot, if they were here, or they could be part of the bodies, you just don't know. You don't know. Are um, there any? Of the bad guys that got killed out here on the field. Okay, now that you've said that, that is what you were doing the observation for. But now uh, that you pointed it out, now you've actually said it out loud, I can tell you uh, there are. There are a mix. So unless somebody gathered up their magical blue crystal weapons, I'm going to see if I see anything like that on the the battlefield any weapon on the battlefield is damaged there are a few that are similar to johnson's but they are broken beyond repair okay well maybe uh, there's fuel or bullets or whatever they are uh if you, someone's willing to spend a fortune maybe there's possibly one lying around just one hmm. So one for one. We only got one fortune left. Uh, 
I have the ability to give you a fortune, so I'll give you a fortune to spend to find that. All right. Consider it magically spent. Okay. And I do you find, find one? I find one. It looks, it looks like a mouse. Okay, and, you, <laughs> and Johnson, now you've got four. If Jones is going to hold on to it, or is he going to give it to me? I'll give it to you. Thank you. Okay. So. It doesn't look like anyone else can carry this big gun. Uh, no, no, okay. no, no one All else right. is. No one else is really equipped to do this. Um. So yeah, you guys get closer to the other building. Mm-hmm. Um, as you get closer, with a difficulty of three. I need you all to roll me a agility plus athletics. Okay. But remember, right. if you want to add die from your momentum, or yep. you need to declare it before you roll. I will spend a uh, point of momentum to add a dice to get a third dice. Don't most of us have to do that anyway? Because you can't yeah. get three unless you get with only two dice. What? If you're unless you get a crit. Yeah, I'll spend and a I fortune have... to get a crit. Yeah, I'll. I have yeah. a fortune to spend. So I'll spend my fortune as well. My odds aren't great with the extra dice, so I'm just gonna gamble on a crit. Okay. I got exactly Close, three. No. Holy fuck! Uh, I rolled two twenties. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! You actually rolled two twenties. Yeah, it's like these are my D and D dice, apparently. So. <laughs> uh, okay. It doesn't matter what anyone else rolled. I do apologize, but it doesn't matter what anyone else yeah. rolled. <laughs> Unless someone's rolled three twenties. I I did did spend a momentum, so I got a third dice. It is not a twenty. It's a success. <laughs> okay, so the rest of you are let's say you getting ready to go into the building. Uh Jones, you've checked it for traps and there's no booby trap on the door. But then I hear a click. <laughs> <laughs> You get ready, and all of you just feel a gust of air go past you. <laughs> and as you all, like, turn, Price just, like, his head falls off. His body falls to pieces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! Blood everywhere. Guts start to spill out as he just becomes three pieces on the ground. Um, you can all uh, let me let me see. Let me let me roll. No, you can all take free stress. So cross free stress. And courage acts like armor for that. Uh, yes, courage does act. I wow. didn't even see it. Get in the get in the building. Yeah, I mean that's we gotta get in somewhere where we can't get. Yeah, uh, I'm just hoping it runs into my knife. The uh, expense that I uh, incurred in the cellar means with that additional three that I'm at nine stress. Yes. Just so you How, know. What's your max stress? I don't know. Where is that? Hang on. I've got your thing anyway. Oh, you've got 10 stress altogether. So you're nearly at max stress. <laughs> you're very close That's, to max. That was my, yeah, I was getting the impression that I was running out of. Yes, you're very close. Uh, uh, maybe I'm... you're feeling very drained right now. Very drained mentally, physically. Well, yeah, something about seeing the Major's head uh, might have upset me. <laughs> yes. So, also, uh, I want to be nowhere near these people and their pursuit. I want to go downstairs and behind things where I can fucking hide and function. But, you know, it might take me a minute. Can okay, you, guys can, you guys enter the building. Um, if that's why I assume you're all rushing into the building after that, yeah. And um, you rush into the building, and uh, 
it's like a command center almost. Um, and to the back, there are a bunch of cells at the back of the building that you can see. It's kind of a open. There's comms. And in the middle, there's like a little circle. And you see the uh, ladder going down. It's like a little circle thing. And then there's a ladder going down. Are there any people in the cells? Uh, there's only one person in the cells, and they are deceased. Okay. Yes, down we go, huh? Yep. Uh, so, I'll who's, take who's the going... lead. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, take so... the lead. Uh, since yeah, I'm it barricading seems like it's the door. Tight. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. Griffiths, you go down first. So I should go down. Uh nothing happens you're just in a small little room and there's a door right directly well behind you as you're coming down the ladder but once you kind of yeah. get off the ladder it's in front of you and yeah, the rest of you will come down the last little bit because he wants to you know have the element of surprise and no nothing there goes yeah, to the there's door a, there's a door and all of you are now down there the rest of you just a room there's maybe a couple of crates in the room that you're currently in that might have some ammunition or whatever just basic ammunition not the blue ammunition that johnson would want what the hell just happened up there i, I well we we met the, the met guardian. the guardian we can't oh. fight that unless we find a way to reduce its speed um, well, we know the serum, whatever that is, works for a bit. So either this thing's serumed up or maybe serum will slow it down. Alternatively, we just blow it up. We have think... to we have to find some way to get it to stop. So an obstacle would make it stop for a moment, and then we could shoot it or cut it or Okay, well, what's in this room besides ammo? Any other doorways leading into any other rooms? Just that one door. Go quiet, or do we go loud? We strike them hard and fast. That's what I'm saying. I think that considering what he's using these experiments for, he's probably here somewhere. He needs all this protection. Are we taking him alive or dead? The silver tongue. I don't yeah, know. We're, we're taking him alive if he's uh, close enough to dad. If he's awake and active, then uh, we keep hitting him until he's not so awake and active. And maybe he's alive when he gets back. But And if we can keep the mask, that might actually let us slow down the thing. If someone wants to pretend to be him, maybe that'll slow it down long enough to shoot it. Maybe. Yeah, who could have put the mask on, eh? I mean, I'll do it if nobody else does. All right, well, we'll we'll stack maybe up we'll put on it on door. Major Price's face. I'm and trying to them... <laughs> trying to figure out a way we can get it to stop for a moment. That'll be interesting. We're gonna go into the room with your guns ready. To yeah, I'm, I'm going. Okay, just for a bit of cinematic flair, because. We're getting close to the end. I want to add some cinematic flair. But first, you can all do me um, uh, your attack rolls. Just roll me an attack. It's a difficulty to, as you're breaching the door. Fuck. Uh, I got a 20. I'm going to spend a fortune to re-roll. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I got 17 and 18. I'm going to add so. a moment. I'm going to spend one of our few remaining momentum. Very success. So we got a momentum back. Oh, love to see it. And I also, I got 12 and two. I believe that's three successes as well. So, so. Yep. Uh, it's a two eight. So that's brawn and what? Uh, whatever fighting. Yeah. So it's no, a, yeah, too normal. Okay. So. Jones, you don't seem to fire as you maybe 
you I stop to think. You maybe you're thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out a way to stop that thing from running. And so the other three, you breach, and there's like uh, about four soldiers. But before they even can react to you, you guys just gun them down, one after each other. And now you're in this kind of like a bit like the control room up there, but this definitely looks more official. And there's a door to the north, a door to the east, and a door to the west. And when you say control room, is there machinery? There's machinery. Um, uh, buttons, little uh, sine waves and windows. Yeah. Stuff I can smash is what I'm asking. Yes, you can smash. Yeah. I think I start just taking, yeah, the the butt of my silenced revolver I just make I'll a circle I'll put a it. hand on your shoulder Moretti and I'll just hand you a grenade well we're gonna be somewhere well we could just use maybe, that to destroy all this maybe we should try to figure out what these things do before we start smashing them maybe we should clear out whoever's behind these doors too Yeah, do yep. that first. they'll definitely have heard that all right, let's see what's behind door number one. And I'll go to the one to the uh, the left side. Feast or where? Okay, so yeah. yep. west. Okay, so going through the west door, uh, you enter first, and this appears to be a medical bay? Question mark? Anyone here? No one in here. But there are cabinets with labels in German. All right. I'll Various cabinets with labels. Clear. Okay. All right. Well, if okay, no one's going to gonna argue, north, I'm going to do yeah, the other no. door. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, which one? North or north, north or east? Okay. Okay. Go into the north one. Uh, you open it, and in there is a someone sat behind a desk. It's quite a compared to everywhere else. This room looks. Very well lived in, like your stereotypical villain room. Okay. There might be a stuffed bear in the corner. So he's just sitting at the desk. Oh. Yeah, he's just sat at a desk. I'm going to drop kick him. <laughs> Before you do that, Johnson. Okay. I need you to do me a will and resilience roll. Ooh, and this is right. a difficulty three. Will and resilience. Yeah. Uh, for those backing him up, do you want us to as well, or just? Uh... All right, I uh, will spend anyone momentum. directly behind him. Yes, okay. it's a difficulty yeah. with free, and it's will and resilience. I'll spend a momentum. I will as well. I get one extra die, and I rolled a five. Oh my god! One, two, three, and oh. a twenty. Oh no! Oh no! All right, okay, so I so, did get four, uh, four successes. So Okay, so Griffiths and Johnson, I'll come to you two in a moment because this happens before you can... Uh, Moretti, you start to hear a voice in your head. Hello, Corporal. <laughs> I can feel everything. But before I finish you, I want you to shoot your two friends in the back. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Now. And you hear a bang in your head, and you feel the compelling to pull your trigger. Do I uh, see him doing this? Because I was kind of towards the back. Uh, Jones, I said you've been trying to figure out a lot of things, so you can do me a observation roll with uh, insight, and it's with a difficulty of three again. Because this is to counteract. So what's I'll need going to on. pull in an extra dice. What do I use? Momentum? Are we out of momentum? Yeah, it's one momentum to get one extra dice. Do and we have three momentum? right now. But you can go into my fret pool. <laughs> you can give me more okay, fret. Oh, we got one. 
Okay. You know it's a bit too late. Moretti, I need you to roll me uh, your stress roll for me. I do apologize, Griffin Johnson, but he is right behind you. So, so how many sixes is that? Um, it's whatever your gun is. Right. Uh, three. And because I'm mean as fuck, I'm using my fret, and you're getting two more to roll as well. Okay, that's not three, that's five, then. One, one, three, four, five. Okay, so that's four. I need you to... So you're only going to do four stress to one of them. I need you to pick which one. Uh, oh, um, it's it's got to be just left to right, and I think that that means Johnson is in front of me. All right, well, I do have an armor of four. Exactly. Hey, again. <laughs> So you probably the, don't the even crawling feel. chaos has has protected me apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I forgot. I forgot. I'm not going back on myself, but I did forget to give you something there, Moretti. But that might come up again because you're still uh, now an enemy of them. I, I am at this point still barreling towards the man sitting at the office chair. <laughs> you are fighting with yourself, Murray. It's a mind battle. So. so yeah, Johnson and Griffiths, what are you two doing? You probably haven't even noticed. I am drop kicking this motherfucking Nazi. Okay. <laughs> do me yeah. do me a roll. Do All me... right. Uh you boys mind if I spend a momentum? And what difficulty is it? Do, do you have uh, this is free? Everything with him, unless yeah, we, you're got, trying to do something, is free. We've got it. So, yeah. uh, this is hand to hand, which is my specialty. That is three successes. Oh, okay. So, both feet leave the ground and then just plant themselves into his chest at full force, like a train. Okay, do me a str- do me a roll for me. Okay. All right, I got two sixes, and that's it. Okay, two sixes. That's four. Okay. Um, and your effect, I could kind of gavel. Can I say stun? Again. Yeah, I, I had a feeling you'd go stun or not back or something like that with your effect. Um, sadly, you do not pierce his armor. So Ooh. he, you kind of go into him and you you stop mid because he's just yeah. there. And he, have you had, in your head, he goes, have, have you had enough? Is that really what we're doing? You can't sit down like civilized gentlemen. So I don't even America. push him back? Can no, I spend just... a fortune to have one more major action? Yeah. All right. Kicking off of his chest, I'm just going to fire this thing point blank at his. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to need three successes. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take one more momentum from you guys. Oh, boy. Perks of one shot, so I am okay with. Uh, four, six, six. Shit. Shit is right. <laughs> uh, All right. So that is four successes. Okay. Oh fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Uh, how much damage does this fucking like fuel cell madness do? Are you, is that oh yeah, that's what you're Yeah, it's a big ass um, gun. Six? Ooh. Okay. Because it's slightly damaged, it would do more if it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I rolled two uh one six, one five, and then three ones. Okay, so that's seven. Yep. You have just got through his armor. Oh boy, he's tough. And it makes like a little ring around his uh, chest, but he he's and he knocks back a little bit, and just like you Americans are all the same. You don't want to chat. 
Pity. Pity, pity, pity. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Griffiths, you are in the room, so. I mean, I just saw him, <laughs> like, completely just throwing this, but he did shoot something in him. Is there yes. a hole in this guy's chest at this point? It's not a hole. It's like a little ring, a burn ring around it, but there's no hole. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, he was really, really hoping that he had something there. Um, Just saying the... Oh, that's after. Um, I don't think he can afford to be clever here. He's just going to aim for the head and try and just unleash into this guy <laughs> because okay. he knows the more this guy uses this power the worse it is for him mm -hmm. so he's he's taking a taking a page out of the american's book of overwhelming force and as far as you're aware because he, you might have been able to hear in your brain what he's saying to johnson because he might have mm -hmm. let you hear he's only able to speak through his mind so you know that's using his boy i hope that's it all right, he's spinning the momentum. He's not going to spend his fortune yet. Uh, all right, that is three successes, and the rifle is the skill and under. So that's it. Okay, three successes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll me, roll me your. Uh, right. Roll me your stress. Oh, stuff. that's a good start. One, one, two. So I'm at four. That's a nothing. And that's a six. Uh, so six and effect. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, again, just pierce. Um, you actually make a dent into his face armor. You might even see a little bit of blood just drizzle. Drizzle through the crack of... Just drizzle through this bit. So Come on, you, boys, you, if it bleeds, we can kill it. And technically, yeah. I'm the first one that said that. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, just outside, um, uh, Jones, for purposes, mm -hmm. yeah, Moretti is not aware. So, um, you have you are you are able to get behind well, Moretti. I, I, yeah, since I was already heading for him, I'm just gonna wrap my arm around his head and jam my knife into his back yeah I'm because at, yeah because at this point you're shooting everybody he he did see you shoot it i saw you about to shoot before you shot so i haven't trusted you from the beginning you're a magic guy so I'm afraid I sh I stick my knife okay. In so there. <laughs> again, for cinematic value, I can bring in what else you bargained for, Moretti. Because <laughs> <laughs> so um, Moretti, as the knife is about to pierce you, <laughs> you vanish. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, you find yourself in another room. You don't know where. You don't know. There's no doors to the room. It's a room, though. It's a room, yeah. It's, it's... Is it a room in a building that I'm familiar with? No. But it's decorated. It's got a nice desk. It's got nice paintings. It's very well lit. Well, I'm going to mutter an oath that I learned in my youth. And a man appears, a very smartly dressed man in a suit, appears. Appears to have no face. It's just a void. And so, hmm, hello. I see uh, you made a bargain. Oh, desperate times. Mm, saves your life sometimes. But where, we can use you. Where where will I be going? <laughs> I'm going to book you a passage. 
on a train. I hope it's international. <laughs> You've got a, a job to do, and I hope you do it well. But uh, you will not, you if you so get killed again, I cannot help you. But it is either that, accept that, take on this task, or I can send you back to where you were. Mm. Now I saw the shape of that knife. I'll I'll roll the dice again. Okay. Well, good luck. I wish uh, my companions good luck in the battle as well. I cannot help them now. <laughs> well, you have a connection. Can I send and... them... Uh... A moment, a thing, a gesture, a bit of mm. momentum. Yes, why not? Add five momentum to your pool as Moretti disappears from here. And the rest of the game as well. God damn it. <laughs> so that was my turn, so I'm stuck. I mean, I'm Watching uh, what they're your, doing with that guy. If that was your cinematic turn, I will let you have an actual turn. Oh, okay. Well, now they're both on top of that guy, right? Uh, at a distance. Because they're, they're shot from a... I think, Johnson, are you on the table? Or like on the desk? I've kick, I kicked yeah. off his yeah. chest. Yeah. So I, I flew back a little. And Griffiths is probably just a bit to the side. Okay. So I'm going to take my knife and fling it at the throw guy's it. face. Yeah. As You're going to throw it. Yeah. Okay. I, that's a brawn athletics roll. Brawl. And athletics, athletics. Because throwing is in athletics. So. And then I have to use a momentum to get a third dice. Yes. Well, come on. I got Two. You yeah. could uh, use fortune to reroll. I have no fortune left because somebody convinced me to use it. <laughs> All right, so my knife clinks off of him. So, and for just the shits and gigs, your knife returns back to you almost like it's me owner. <laughs> It's like a trick wow. shot that you made. I didn't even I didn't even practice that. He's like, ah, oh, come on now, gentle. You can all hear him in your head. Come on, just sit down. We can have a chat about this. I can't leave here. My experiment has gone wrong. It's going to kill me anyway, so we're stuck down here together. Who are you? Are you silver face or silver tongue? Of course I am. <laughs> I am silver tongue. I wish I could speak to you in my uh, in normal speech, but uh, I can't exactly speak through my mouth anymore. Side effects. But, you know... The next door along, it's a, it's a lab. Some of the serums in there. And a, a document that may help you, may not. Depends on how you perceive it. I'm not going to stop you. If anything, it's a bit of fun for me because it's a test. And, uh, you know, I get to see if it succeeds. So it's, up to you. We can, it's up to you. We can just sit here and chat and we can play poker or whatever. I don't really care. Or you can read one of my many books. And you or... can't move your body? Oh, I can move my body. And he moves his... He's yeah, afraid he's of the body. thing upstairs that he made. I, I will look towards Private Griffiths because we thought the same thing. 
And I'm going to say, then catch. I'm going to toss him my entire bandolier with all three of the cells on it, and I'm going to dive. Okay. With the, with the blue cells on it, yeah? Correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Griffiths was waiting for this, like, the guy was talking his head, he's reloaded, it's just okay. full shoot. Okay, Jones, you're not in the room, so that's fine. Uh, Griffiths and Johnson, I'm going to need you to do me a athletics roll. Okay. Get out of the way. Agility, Agility athletics? athletics. All right, yeah. what's the uh, what's the uh, this has to be a four, it's got to be, because it has of to be a four. Yeah. All right, don't forget the innuendo. <laughs> then I will spend a momentum. I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna bank on a on a crit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. uh, if you're doing that, I'll, I'll spend a couple. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go into my fret pool as well, <laughs> but I have quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. Right. Four. Oh. I also rolled a one. Uh, it's uh, gonna bluff. He's still gonna be there. It's like I, well, I rolled three. Fair enough. I also only rolled three. So, what about you, Johnson? Did you? Four successes. You did get four. Okay, yes. Johnson, you managed to get out of the room. Griffiths, um, what is your armor at? Uh, three. Three, okay. Three. Yep. Okay, and uh, the power cells. I now need to quickly look something because... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's three of them on the bandolier. <laughs> God, I'm going to be using that fortune. <laughs> Uh, to not die? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. I should have spent that before. Okay. All right. So we're both going to take 10 stress. All right. Well, that is definitely a major wound. Yes. <laughs> um and yeah um for the sake of it unless you're going to use a fortune you could die from this i think he will because it's a one shot and i kind of like the idea of he just gets blown back out the door like probably slams into the computer console that's over there probably hit me yeah i just fries to death on the computer cups. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the explosion sends you back and you're hit with this blue energy that leaves like a little crevice in your body because we're saying that you don't and your body flings back, knocks into Jones, Jones pulls down and you go into the circuit circuit boards on the uh, system and you just create an electrical thing. You're already dead, but your body just gets electrocuted and your eyes pop out as well. And um, meanwhile, um, he's looking very worse for wear behind. Um, cracks in his mask and in his armor. He is still alive, but he's very injured and you can see holes in his body. And you can actually now, if both of you look, see his lesions and stuff. So. God damn it, why won't you die? Hmm. Perks, but, you know, I could have just killed you myself, but as I said, I... <sighs> Kill him. There's no way we can take him back with us. He's too powerful. Now he's full of holes. Uh, and as you'd say that, both of you start to notice that everything start, everything that's not nailed to the floor starts to lift up. See what I mean? I can control things. I could have easily killed you. Just leave me be. I'm. What can I do? I've told you where the serum is. I've told you where the document is. I'll go okay. for the serum and the document. Jones, I say we just burn this place to the ground and extract. He'll burn with it. Well, I've still got a bunch of hand grenades, so yep. I'll I'll grab the uh 
the formula and the uh, paperwork. Okay. Um, just for a sec of it, I will show you the last handout. <laughs> <laughs> Project Mind Blast this project aims to weaponize abilities that correspond with the brain. These include telepathy, telekinesis, mind control, empathy, dream manipulation, psychic awareness, uh, precognition. More to be determined, the project has been able to take blood, matter, and other substances from the originator and have formed a serum in collaboration with the Cosmosis serum previously created. The combination of both have proved delightfully responsive. If project is a success, our efforts will quickly increase in our favor. The originator must remain protected if lost project will hopelessly fail if a plausible subject has yet to be found. This document also includes the formula for both serums. Cool. I'll take it. So this serum, it needs to be combined in order for it to be effective. What if it's not combined? What if we just like overdose him with one of the parts of the serum? If we can't seem to pierce him with guns, how could we pierce him with a needle? That's true. And you do have a bundle of grenades. Yeah. Oh, you you guys, it's not for me. It's for, for... Think about it. Jesus Christ. You're not even here. <laughs> We're in the other I can still get into your brain. Shit, you're right. <laughs> well... We're I'll take Griffith's you, uh, dog tags. We're going to give you some release from this pro from this problem right now. Oh, that's fine. Well, I don't really care anymore. I've lost the will. Uh, All right, let's go. All right, blow him up. I'll close the door behind him once you toss the bundle in. Then we run for the stairs and go up. Yeah, and yeah. you've got some of the serum, so we can stop this thing. Yeah, you go yeah. up the ladder, and you go to the um, thing. You hear an explosion behind you, and as you just get, you manage to just get out as uh, you uh, maybe a little, a little fiery thing comes out the top. Um, and both of you are there, and in front of you is a very, very naked man, taller than you, Johnson. Mus more muscly than you. Looks almost like that picture that you saw that Weasel had. But who has the bigger Johnson? Oh, well, he's fully naked and uh, he's got a very <laughs> big Johnson. Um, All right. Well, I've got a syringe. You've got a syringe. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Are you sure? Well, we didn't hear him complain. Hmm. You two can go. That's all I wanted. Sounds good. What are you going to do? Well, I've got some Nazis to kill. Go, go kill all the Nazis. Sounds good. The fascists, too. Then I uh, guess Locke and I will drive away. <laughs> just before that, got a, well, the guy's got his back to you anyway. Obviously, this is the guy that can go super speed and kill Price and a lot of people. So here's a, just a conundrum for you. He killed everyone, doesn't matter what, what it was. Yes, he was possibly after, but after uh, Silverton, and then he's going to go on and kill other people who were cause of it. But do you really want someone like that hanging around? Someone so quick he can rip people apart? Yeah, Ooh. probably not. <laughs> not sure it's our problem right now. They can bring somebody else for this problem. <laughs> you know, I think you're right. You can't just call it in and then, you know. Yeah, you, we'll, we'll so, call it in. Someone we've, else's problem. We've taken enough losses today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Yeah. You got to get that serum back. That's the key. 
Yeah, we you have, have the, the serum. serum. So we yeah, have exactly. samples of the serum. It. You also have a formula as well. Yep. So, All right. So yeah, you, you two drive off. Into the sunset, yeah. Into Lock another successful again. mission. <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, Guardian has moved on. Uh, we could set the scene. He is at the bar in like a really tight shirt, sipping a drink. And at the table, there's a few Nazi officers. If it's like a movie, you would just see all their heads pop off really quickly. And then he's back at the table, sipping his drink. Uh, also, we're just doing a little credits. Uh, Price's body is just mangled everywhere. Uh, so Same with Griffiths. Uh, Moretti, you are on a train. Your mission is to protect the Fuhrer. Uh, who gives me this assignment? It's the deal you made. He never specified what target, but your job is to protect the Fuhrer. That's going to be a funny job. <laughs> and now for Silverton. After a while, uh, a cleanup crew uh, for Nagswolf comes along goes down there, sees the damage, and they find the head of Silvertongue. Nothing else, everything else is gone from the explosion. And they take it back to a laboratory, and they inject something into him. Is it? And just one final, ah, oh, thank God you came for me. Now, We've got two left to kill, and he's still on the loose. And that's where we end. Johnson and I are moving to Peru, where we're <laughs> going to. <laughs> All right. So, is there anything you want to tell us, Josh? Uh, the the thing about Act and Cthulhu is a lot of it's laid on the table straight away. You know, yeah. pretty much. But just to clarify a few things, so he Silvertong um, was a he's a genius, but at some point in his life he became afflicted with something, uh, uh, something from outer space. But had given his infliction, he's got abilities, but it's slowly killing him. So he wanted to create something to help him. Um, in doing this, he managed to figure a way of taking his abilities and implanting it in others, but it kept causing issues. So with the use of another serum, the Cosmosis serum that um, the Nagtwolf had created, he managed to find a balance between the two, which is able to create the ultimate super soldier almost. Speed isn't necessarily the only thing. There's other possibilities that it could cause. Um, because, and that all originated from a, from someone with telepathy, telekinesis, things like that. Boundless opportunities for the Nazis to experiment. Obviously, you guys got the formula in that, so uh, you Section M and that might be able to find a way to counteract it, but really he was only trying to figure out a way to prolong his life. And mm. along the way, he, um, you know, figured out a way to create bad guys, bigger, so, meaner bad guys. So was Weasel the Guardian? Weasel was not the Guardian. Weasel is just a weasel. He is, um, oh, because he disappeared naked, and we assume. When this dude showed up naked. No. Okay. We, if you had looked under the clothes properly, you would have noticed there was a little uh, grate under where the clothes are. Um, he actually turned into a weasel and went ah. down into the... Um, he is a... He, he can do a bit of magic. He's a wow. character who can do a bit of magic. He knows a bit. Which is why he plays both sides, because he knows at the end of the day he will still be alive. <laughs> Those damned weasels! Why uh, were we not warned about the weasels? Basically, he set you up, because he set up the ambush that went on. He caused that ambush that ambushed you guys. Um, 
the yeah, only person the only person that wasn't accounted for which um is better is Vought. Vought was nowhere to be seen um but you wouldn't necessarily have figured this out but you might have if you had a little chat with him a bit more of a chat with him but he is a nazi sympathizer working with Mm. embedded in so it could have also been a mixture of him ratting on his own troops so uh and Kerpel Moretti's in bed with Niall Athetep <laughs> it's a family thing I I just grew up you know yeah I thought I... it was a fun thing but it's that was a fun thing to add it's the perks of the troops. They allow you to, uh, especially if you're creating your own character, you can be very creative with your troops, but help play, make an interesting, pulpy character. Cool. Yeah, our, yeah. our players included Alex Sun, Keith Craig, David Gassaway, uh Nathan Decker, and myself with Josh Harwood as the keeper of the secrets. We have a Discord server where you can chat with our other members, you can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answering any questions you might have. This is Tom Riley, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Octung Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming. Mm-hmm.